Messieurs, dames, j'espère que vous allez bien. On reprend sur MGS2, là où on s'est arrêté. Euh, là, je ne sais pas du tout où je dois aller. Je ne sais plus. Ah bah voilà, ça fait plaisir de revoir les plateformes comme ça. On ne perd pas de temps. Je pense qu'on va les récupérer. Ah ouais, si, 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 si ça me revient. Faut qu'on aille au Shell 2. Mais on va les récupérer. Euh, les petits trucs qu'il y a certainement dans les pièces autour. Parce que maintenant on a la carte de niveau 3. Freeze, huh? Qu'est-ce qu'on a là-dedans Ah oui, ça y est, je sais quelle scène va arriver bientôt. Ça va être énorme les mecs. Même le sniper, c'est pas vous <coughs> Je vais baisser un peu le son pour que vous ayez pas d'écho. Voilà. Ça devrait être bon pour vous. Ils sont trop généreux là. silencieux donc faut qu'on aille ici c'est parti on va garder ce uniforme pour l'instant je l'aime bien c'est vraiment pacman ce jeu Pas de spoil les gars, pas de spoil. Oh putain, un deuxième groupe. Quelle malchance. Et je pense qu'il y a moyen qu'on finisse le jeu ce soir les gars. Est-ce que vous sauriez me dire où on en est Est-ce qu'on est à la moitié ou pas Je pense pas loin. Hein. J'aime bien la tenue de Raiden, mais ça change. Ça a l'air d'être par là. Hein. What Oui, mon dieu. On a la moitié à peu près, bon, très bien. Du coup, je pense vraiment qu'on va le finir ce soir. Je suis chaud. Ok, on est sur le bon chemin. On n'a pas de temps à perdre.
Ah non, non, on est à peu près à 6 heures de jeu là. Peut-être 5h30. De toute façon, on n'essaie pas de faire le sans alerte. Hein. <rire> Vous l'aurez compris. Ah, là, je crois qu'on arrive à une scène intéressante très, très bientôt. Raiden, can you hear me? Pliskin, where have you been? Checking around. I'm in Strat H right now. How's the situation over there? We have a lead on the president's location. Where is he? Shell 2 Core, the first floor. I'm cut off from the core where I am. It's a mess here. All right, I'm on my way to Shell 2 right now. There are IR sensors in place on the connecting bridge between Shells 1 and 2. If you break the beams, the Semtex will go off. Yeah, I heard them talking about that. Target the control units and destroy them. Make sure you don't shoot the Semtex. What do the control units look like? Take a look with your binoculars. I should probably do it, yeah, I should spoil it. Zero spoil. That's the Semtex. And that must be the control unit. C'est le snipe. Putain. <rire> Regardez-le comme il s'approche. Mais tu vas crever en foiré de drone Oh là là, bon écoutez, on va y aller au snipe. sur le drone <rire> Pourquoi attends pourquoi c'est explosé Qu'est-ce qui s'est passé là pas compris. On va recommencer. On va viser directement la caméra. Ah il y a une bombe sur le drone là ou quoi Attends. Voilà. Ah oui, il était sur le drone, la bombe était sur le drone, putain. Et là, je peux le péter. Oh là là, mon dieu, quoi. J'ai complètement zappé qu'il y en avait. Tiens, on va faire un tir au pigeon. On va chasser de la mouette, là. Ah mon dieu, il fonce droit sur nous. Attends, Ned, il faut que je régule leur espèce. pas buter le perroquet mais le pigeon enfin la mouette oui c'est bon ça pour, pourquoi pas les perroquets Comme elles sont parfaitement alignées. 
Il faut que je régule leur espèce Ned. C'est quoi dans le doute On va faire un petit F1. Ah vous Ah le, le drapeau, mais oui putain c'est vrai. C'est vrai. Un petit peu ici. Je m'en souviens. Putain, celui-là, je me souviens que j'avais grave galéré pour le trouver. C'est qu'on est bon. Je l'ai cassé. On a tout On a tout Je vois pas ce qu'il y a. On va dire qu'on a tout. Raiden, you haven't destroyed all the control ah, units yet. Use the first person view or the sniper. Ok, ok, ok. Alors peut-être derrière moi. Ah bah ouais, derrière moi les mecs. Ça c'est le c'est le grand classique. C'est bon. Raiden, I found us a ride. I'm all ears. One of the enemy's Kasatkas. Is it in good shape? Full tank. I'm heading for Shell 1 now. What about that Harrier? It's not on the heliport here. Good. I'll set this one down there then. Can you cover the hostages? They're being held on level B1 in the core. Pliskin, you didn't happen to find any other places where hostages were being held, did you? No, nothing like that. Okay. How many hostages are there? There's a few short of 30. One dead and several wounded. The Kasatka's cargo area will hold 13 max. What about the other Kasatka? Uh, I sabotaged it. It can't come after us if it can't get off the ground. Oh. We'll have to make two trips. Can you fly a Kasatka? I have a pilot who's flown the civilian model, the KA-62 in VR. There's not a whole lot of difference between the military KA-60 and the civilian model. Cleared for takeoff. Raiden, let me introduce you to my partner, Otacon. Otacon? Hey, Raiden. Nice to meet you. Intruders! Over here! Damn! Raiden, I'll talk to you later. Colonel, I need some answers from you. Who exactly is Pliskin and his partner? I know what you're thinking. It keeps coming back to Shadow Moses. And now this Otacon... A.K.A. Hal Emmerich, Ph.D., a Shadow Moses survivor. Rose? Snake and Otacon both became fugitives after Shadow Moses, wanted for acts of terrorism. An anti-Metal Gear organization. They sabotaged and destroyed countless Metal Gear units throughout the world. And were responsible for the incident two years ago that necessitated the construction of the Big Shell. Snake and his partner aren't terrorists. Jack, why are you defending them? I look back on what I've done here so far. And things like training and sense of duty alone won't get you through a sneaking mission like this. Jack, are you okay? You need something higher. I can't think of the right word, but it has to be pure will. Backed up by... By courage, or ideals, or, or something like that. I'd stake my life on it. The solid snake that saved Shadow Moses couldn't turn into a terrorist. Maybe that's true. But they went down with that tanker two years ago. We even recovered Snake's body. And the DNA test results on the body say it's him. Jack, I know what you're saying, but Snake is dead. He can't be here. Not even as this Dr. Hal Emmerich. But that also means that he can't be the terrorist leader behind this thing. Waiting for you. A messenger from the Patriots. Where do I know him from? 
So you're the boss around here? No, not just around here. I'm the boss to surpass Big Boss himself. Solid Snake. No, that is not Solid Snake. Pleasant surprise, brother. Save it, you brother of mine. Don't say you've forgotten me, Snake. Snake? Right, take cover! Impersonating him. I'm a whole different game from Liquid. for interfering. Right. This is the Stinger missile launcher. The Kasaka can't stand up to the Harrier. You have to shoot the Harrier down. Snake, we got company. I'm counting on you. Allez, c'est parti pour un combat d'anthologie. Petite save, c'est parti. Merci Snake Merci mon pote. Ah mais je suis déjà full là. Ça vous rappelle rien ce combat
Ah merde, la ration a disparu. C'est bien le triangle rouge, j'avais envie. Oh merde Ah j'adore ce thème Mais c'est terrible parce que là on y rejoint euh, Je pense aux missions FOB de Phantom Pain Oh non, normal les mecs. N'inquiétez pas, on va l'avoir à l'usure cet enfoiré. Oh merde, j'espère que j'ai pas visé Snake. J'ai l'impression d'avoir fait une connerie là. Il reste combien de munitions Ça va. Merde. Ah, il fallait aller encore plus haut. Il est vraiment beaucoup mieux que le combat dans le premier, donc liquide. Vous pouvez euh, moins aimer le setting ou le personnage, mais le combat en lui-même, beaucoup mieux. Là 
Vas-y Snake, file-moi un coup de main. Oh putain. Ah merci pour la ration mon pote. Et elle est où cette ration C'était peut-être juste des munitions Stinger. Comment il peut avoir autant de missiles C'est bon, il faudrait être à 7. Et voilà, comme une lettre à la poste. Allez, enjoy. You all right? Yeah. How about you guys? Barely managed, but we're all right. The chopper? We need some time for repairs. Oh. The president's all yours. Okay. Can I ask you something? What? Are you the snake? <sighs> They said you were dead. No, not me. There are still too many things I need to do. 
Snake, you're a legend, and that's why I need to ask you this. Legend? A legend is nothing but fiction. Someone tells it, someone else remembers. Everybody passes it on. I'm here because I was assigned to this mission, not because I want to. If I could, I'd be out of here in a second. How could you come back to all this? Why keep fighting? There's something my best friend said to me once. What? We're not tools of the government or anyone else. Fighting was the only thing I was good at, but at least I always fought for what I believed in. What about, what about the DNA results from that body? That was Liquid's body. He and Snake are identical on the genetic level. Liquid? A deception for our own protection. We stole his frozen body from some organization. Kind of a hassle, though. That's all there is to it. <sighs> are you two really an NGO? Insofar as we're a non-profit organization of civilians advocating a cause, yes. The cause happens to be the eradication of Metal Gear. We work on our own, but it's a cause worth fighting for. Why would you stick your neck out for something this risky? That's the way I used to look at it, four years ago. I was holed up in the middle of nowhere in Alaska, drinking too much. We have a responsibility to the coming generations, to the world. What responsibility? To keep track of the mistakes we've made as a species. We need to remember, to spread the word, to fight for change. And that's what keeps me alive. You think you can change the future? Nah, I'm not as arrogant as that. What you do isn't grassroots activism. It's more like terrorism. I admit that. But our group, Philanthropy, received some information. A new Metal Gear prototype was being developed here, and terrorists were planning to raid the facility. The information came from a very reliable source. So you're here to... We're here to stop all that. But I also have a personal motive. Looks like the terrorists have his sister in the big shell. We're here on our own, not under anyone's orders. We have our own battles. Otacon's here for someone. I'm not. This is a military mission. Jack, are you all right? Just barely. You almost gave me a heart attack. Sorry, it wasn't intentional. I know that, and I know I need to stay stronger. Say a prayer for me, Rose, so I can come back. You will make it back. I'm with you all the way, remember? That means a lot to me, you know. I'm going to save the data, okay, Jack? Colonel, Metal Gear's already gone active. It's not too late. You can still prevent a nuclear strike by securing the president and preventing password confirmation from taking place. Get to the president. He's in the core section of Shell 2. I'm checking the satellite images. Looks like you can get to the core from the other side of Strut L. The core hasn't gone under yet from what we can tell. Follow the railings down, then jump onto the pipes. The only viable strut in the outer perimeter is the L. That attack just now doesn't make any sense. It's like they have no more use for this place. Colonel, you were monitoring the codec calls. That man was the real snake all along. Maybe. Maybe? Don't let your guard down with him. Why do you say that? Because they were never a part of the simulation. They're an unknown factor. You can take your simulation and... We're out here, we bleed, we die. Calm down. I suggest that you do, Raiden. Even if that is Snake, that has no bearing on your mission. Colonel, you and Snake used to be on the same side. <sighs> I don't understand. I read about you and Snake in In the Darkness of Shadow Moses. I don't give a damn what that piece of trash said. Do you get me? Énervé le colonel. Oula, on a un petit bug. C'est bon. Ouais, je suis désolé. Euh... En fait, je fais tourner quand même le jeu là en deux fois natif. C'est peut-être ça qui cause parfois quelques petits bugs occasionnels. Euh, J'espère que ça reste supportable pour vous, les mecs. <rire> Mais on enchaîne, on n'a pas le temps. Allez, c'est parti. On continue. Bon, J'espère que vous comprenez que vous arrivez à suivre à peu près l'histoire pour ceux qui connaissent pas trop bien la série. Il va falloir qu'on fasse attention aux, aux merdes de mouettes. C'est un coup à glisser. 
<rire> bon. Et ben voilà, je l'avais dit. C'est même pas le. C'est même pas les mouettes là. Je vous poserai des questions à la fin quand même, pour si vous avez bien tout compris. Faut faire attention, faut faire très attention. Voilà. C'est pour ça qu'on a inventé les safe states les mecs, pour ce genre de passage. Vous voyez ça c'est avant une Ah non on peut pas le choper d'ici ça. On la forum. Ça je m'en souviens. This is not a pretty sight. <rire> On va faire attention. Bien. Bien, bien, bien. Ah oui, c'est vrai qu'il y a un mec qui, qui pisse. Et il peut nous pisser dessus. Alors attendez, faut qu'on le retrouve, il est où C'est peut-être après. J'espère que je l'ai pas passé. Je sais qu'il y a un mec qui pisse, effectivement. <rire> Peace Walker, je sais pas si on le fera parce qu'il est très très long. Parce qu'en fait, il y a un côté RPG. Et c'est très 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 long. En fait, il y en a pour 50 heures, Peace Walker. Hein. Si on veut débloquer la vraie fin. Honnêtement, je le trouve pas. Il est très bien, mais il est pas passionnant à jouer pour vous en stream. Hein. Ça, même le scénario, les cinématiques euh, en mode BD, euh, ça va être compliqué pour vous, les gars. Oh merde! Merde! State après. Ouais, on fera Snake Eater. Et je pense aussi MGS4. Et peut-être du coup, après, on enchaînera avec Phantom Pain. On va voir. Mais pff, ah, Peace Walker, vraiment, c'est trop galère pour moi de le streamer. Ou alors, faudrait que je vous stream les passages les plus importants, je sais pas. Il faudrait que je le refinisse intégralement, je crois que j'ai plus ma sauvegarde d'époque. Oh merde, on était bon là, non, non. on refait, on refait. On était bon. Oh merde <rire> Ah que c'est chiant Bon vous savez quoi on va les endormir Quoi que j'ai l'impression que c'est à l'herbe direct maximale bon il est où le mec qui pisse on l'a pas passé quand même ce serait très triste non mais david alexandre tu rêves <rire> trop long à hein, streamer pisse sur le cœur à 100% pire le pc va mourir à la limite le jeu serait sur ps5 on pourrait le prendre sur le store pourquoi pas hein. ah, ça c'est un très grand moment les mecs 
nous pisse dessus. Vous voyez, Death Training n'a rien inventé, les mecs. Mais là, c'est lui qui nous pisse dessus. J'entends un drone. Éventuellement aller par là. De toute façon, on n'a pas le choix. Ah, on n'a pas le choix. J'ai foiré mon saut. Il me semble qu'on peut faire comme ça. Voilà. Vous avez vu comme c'est beau Vous avez vu ce gameplay Magnifique. Je pense que je vous ferai un gros résumé de Peace Walker. Ça sera plus simple. C'est pas un jeu extrêmement marquant par sa narration. En fait, le truc, c'est que tu t'attaches à ton équipe. Je vous expliquerai quand on fera. Enfin, quand on fera Phantom Pain. My father had some unfinished business with him. Olga, calm yourself. Then screw your plan. I've been waiting for this day for two years, and I will send him to the bottom. Right next to my old man. The launch comes first. Damn it. Where is Ocelot? Not here. Don't talk that way about one of your own. He's not one of my own. He left my father to die, remember? Olga, we'll talk later. We need to get started on the final checks for the unit. All right. I'm headed back there. The operative bridge to show one is down. What about the chopper? The cab off is out of action. Take the oil fence from Strut Elm. I'll tell my men to start pulling out. Not yet. Their retrieval comes last. The intruder's still at large. What about the other man? He's got luck on his side, sir. He survived. Listen, Olga, the court confirmation is in one hour. Keep the president alive until then. I know. No one gets in here. Turn the currents on. The door stays shut unless the president manages to take out that circuit panel from inside the room. And it's no job for bare hands. All right. Come back immediately. One more thing. What? We leave for Russia when this business is done. I want half the money for that. Of course. That was part of the agreement. We start living for ourselves after this. If there's anyone who wants to stay here, I want you to take good care of them. Gladly. Gerlukovich soldiers are the cream of the crop. It's time they went free. What happened to rebuilding Mother Russia? The old man is dead. The world is a different place now. It's your life. Just as a reminder, I'm going to say this again one last time. Don't try anything on us. The fear
I'm in front of the room where they're keeping the president. Everything all right? No sign of flooding, but I can't get close to the door. The floor is electrified. Don't test it. You'll be bacon. Any suggestions? Remember the Shadow Moses VR training. Take out the circuit panel? Right. But there's no way into the room. Try ventilation ducts. Yeah, I think I see one. Look for a remote control missile launcher. You can guide it through the duct into the room. Then target the circuit panel. Got it. Right, but make sure you don't hit the president. The president is wired with nanomachines. If we know the frequency, I can raise him. We've tried that repeatedly, but there's no response. It looks like the walls have a built-in radio shield. So that's why Ames lost contact with him. If you need to confirm his position, you can log into the node. Understood. Locate a remote control missile launcher first. Nikita. Mais c'est quoi le truc qu'on a chopé là Ah non, ça c'est un lance-gros. Putain, je m'en sers jamais du lance-grenade. Éventuellement contre vamp, mais. Il est où le Nikita Le 3 ça sera sympa de le refaire comme j'espère juste qu'il va pas bugger avec cet émulateur. Parce que je veux la version subsistance moi. On peut pas y jouer sur la version de base hein. Avec la caméra c'est pas possible. Attendez parce que j'ai vu qu'il y avait un petit conduit d'aération derrière. Ah, est cool. ah bah il y a là, le Nikita. Ah bah non c'était juste des munitions pardon. Ah non, là c'est là où on doit tirer. Bon, on va prendre l'ascenseur, je crois. Ok. Non, je pense que c'est à l'étage en dessous. Sous ah ouais putain c'est vrai qu'à la phase aquatique relou Ça c'est peut-être la phase que j'aime le moins <rire> à cause du gameplay parce que le gameplay aquatique est très compliqué Ah ouais putain Ok En fait le seul truc qui faisait passer la pilule pour moi c'est que l'effet d'eau était magnifique et là ça me fait chier parce qu'on voit pas à quel point c'était magnifique. Sur PS2. L'émulateur la rend pas au nord. Colonel, B1 is completely flooded from what I can see. You'll have to swim through. I'm fine with swimming. Stroke the water and move forward by pushing the punch button. Push it in rapid succession to swim faster. Change your heading with. Ça, je te remercie, Colonel, pas besoin de ces conseils. Allez, c'est parti. Ce gameplay de l'enfer. Très beau poster ici. You 
have the remote controlled missile. Okay. Good job. Now head for the first floor of the Shell 2 core. Take out the power source and make contact with the president before the launch code can be reconfirmed. Hurry. Ah, ok. Je sais qu'il faudra revenir ici après. J'ai même pas fait gaffe que j'ai chopé le missile, les mecs. Ah, petite bouteille qui flotte dans l'eau, pas mal. Quel athlète ce Raiden Vous avez vu ça il peut, respirer, il peut rester 10 minutes sans, sous l'eau sans respirer. Allez, on remonte. Tous les grands jeux ont des défauts. On va reprendre une petite munition ici au cas où. Est-ce qu'on le tire à partir d'ici le Nikita Je ne sais plus, je vais essayer. Pas du tout. Ah merde. Merde, merde, merde. Ah non, ça y attendez, ça me revient. C'est bon, ça me revient. Je me, je me souviens maintenant. Attendez, je me souviens ou je me souviens pas C'est pas bon du tout, ça. Ah, voilà, ici, à mon avis. Je pense à partir de là, on peut le tirer pour qu'il entre dans ce putain de trou. Voilà, très bien. Fuck. C'était pas là Merde Malédiction Malédiction Allez, Tranquille, tranquille, tranquille. Poussez-vous, chef Bon, c'est où euh, que je dois faire... Mais cassez-vous, putain Où c'est que je dois faire exploser le truc mais quel con, pourquoi il reste planté là cet abruti T'as le mec, il a un missile télécommandé qui lui arrive en pleine gueule, il reste dessus. Bon, alors, où est ce putain de panneau électrique Ah, ça doit être là. Mais cassez-vous, monsieur, cassez-vous Voilà. Ça, c'est beau. President Johnson. Huh? So you're finally here. You've been expecting me? Your equipment, that skull suit, isn't exactly standard military issue. Are you all right, sir? Is this some kind of sick joke? I thought you came to kill me. What? I'm prepared to face the consequences of my betrayal. What are you... Oh. Hmm. What the... 
You're a man? Hmm. Well, who are you? Foxhound, sir. Foxhound? I see. Now things are starting to make a little sense. <laughs> Switch over to nano communication so nobody can listen in. Yes, sir. Do you read me, sir? Uh, yes. Mr. President, it's my understanding that the terrorists have managed to input the code sequence necessary for launching a nuclear strike. That's correct. I punched the sequence in myself. You're working for them? If you asked me two hours ago, my answer would have been yes. Right now? They're keeping me alive until my vital signs are reconfirmed. They betrayed you? I wouldn't quite put it that way. I wanted power. They sought destruction. But why stoop to terrorism? I wanted absolute power. But you're the president. You have power. No, I'm just a figurehead. What? I don't have any control. The real power is in the Patriots' hands. The Patriots? The truth behind this country. I'm not surprised you've never heard of them. Very few are aware of their existence, even among those with code word clearance. Huh? Politics, the military, the economy, they control it all. They even choose who becomes president. Putting it simply, the patriots rule this country. No. <laughs> Hard to believe, isn't it? But it's the truth. The space defense, income tax reduction, and national missile defense programs. Every policy that's been credited to me was actually done according to their instructions. Space defense was initiated by Congress. That's what the Patriots want the country to believe. It's all a show. Democracy is just a filler for textbooks. Think about it. Do you actually believe that public opinion influences the government? No. This country is shaped and controlled as the Patriots see fit. The people are shown what they want to believe. What you call government is actually a well-staged production aimed at satisfying the public. Huh? Don't look at me like that. I'm legally sane, you know. It's not your sanity that worries me. The Patriots. Even I don't know who the actual members are. Are they financial, political, or military leaders? No one knows who the Patriots really are. Even my instructions come from a cutout. All I've been told is that every key decision is made by a group of 12 men, known as the Wise Men's Committee. Your office? The White House? Merely puppets. Pawns in a game. By pledging my loyalty, an insignificant son of a senator was awarded the presidency. Huh. Of course, that wasn't the only price I had to pay. What do you mean? Even if a pawn becomes a queen, it is still just a playing piece. I wanted to leave my own mark in history, but my ambitions were... You'll understand someday. I wished to be a member of the Patriots. I wanted to wield the power of a king instead of being an expendable pawn. And that justifies acts of terrorism? Yes. I'd intended to use the new Metal Gear as a bargaining chip. Bargaining chip? But I underestimated Solidus. He actually wants to challenge the Patriots, even if it means the destruction of the world. What are you saying? Whether you believe it or not, the balance of power rests in the hands of the Patriots. They regulate the country's various interests through controlled presentation, Staging a drama that is palatable to the general masses. Can you imagine what would happen if they ceased to function? <sighs> Picture a massive political vacuum. A space that every power monger will try to fill for their own greedy ends. I'm talking about an unregulated power struggle. Panic. Civil war. Chaos. Like it or not, the Patriots is an organization that must continue to exist. So you changed your mind because you wanted to avoid global chaos. Exactly. When I told Solidus that I wished to prevent disaster, he replied that pawns can never become players. And who is this Solidus? My predecessor. 
George Sears. That was the name the public came to know him by. I knew him by his code name, Solitus Snake. He was the third snake, preceded by Solid and Liquid, a survivor of the Les Enfants Terribles project. Neither Solid nor Liquid, he was a well-balanced masterpiece that the Patriots saw fit to entrust with the presidency. However, he fell out of grace with the organization four years ago. When acting on his own, he started an incident. Four years ago? Shadow Moses! That's right. At the time, the DARPA chief, Donald Anderson, together with certain influential parties, initiated the development of Metal Gear Rex and an advanced nuclear warhead. However, this did not fall in line with the Patriots' plans. What's more, Solidus decided on his own to send his most trusted man, Ocela, to provoke Liquid Snake, bringing about the said incident. As a result, he succeeded in obtaining Rex and the data on the warhead. But in doing so, he ended up revealing the existence of both Rex and the Genome Army, a blunder that earned him the wrath of the Patriots. Shortly thereafter, Solidus was removed from the presidential office. I thought he resigned. That's the story given to the general public. Following his resignation, the Patriots selected me, their new pawn for the presidency. But that would mean that the presidential race was... That was quite a show, wasn't it? It was a well-scripted drama staged by the Patriots for the benefit of the public. Even the Democrats and Republicans were dancing to the Patriots' tune. Everything went according to plan, but for one exception. Huh. Following his resignation, Solidus' health was scheduled to fail him, bringing about his untimely death. Capped? Correct. But before the Patriots could execute their plot, Solidus went underground with the help of Ocelot. As he avoided pursuit, Solidus gained control of Dead Cell, winning over Colonel Golukovich's outfit. From there, he bided his time, knowing that his opportunity would soon arrive. What opportunity? The completion of the new Metal Gear project, an opportunity that would even his odds against the Patriots. By stealing the Patriots' most valued project, he would be able to place them in a very uncomfortable position. It's the only chance he has for survival. Once he has the new Metal Gear, he'll declare war against the Patriots. Needless to say, he must be stopped. Metal Gear is already operational. No, not yet. Hmm? What you saw was Metal Gear Ray, hijacked two years ago from the Marines by Ocelot. That was not the new Metal Gear. Then where's the new Metal Gear? Right here. What? You're standing in it. To be more precise, this entire Big Shell facility is the new Metal Gear. What'd you say? No, I'm quite serious. The upper structure that you've seen is camouflage, designed to represent an offshore cleanup facility. The main structure extends from the foundation all the way down to the ocean floor. The connecting elevator is located on the B2 floor of the Shell 1 core. Arsenal Gear. That's the code name for the new Metal Gear. Arsenal? That's right. Arsenal. We're talking about an impregnable fortress carrying a load of over a couple of thousand missiles, including nuclear warheads, all protected by a horde of mass-produced Metal Gear Ray units. Mass-produced? The Ray unit was originally designed for the Marines to be used as a countermeasure against the Metal Gear variations throughout the world. The Patriots had Ray redesigned to protect the new Arsenal gear. So now anti-metal gears are guarding a metal gear. Ironic, isn't it? That's not all. Arsenal gear has full access to the military's tactical network, giving it the ability to exercise absolute control over our nation's armed forces, not to mention our nuclear armament. In short, Arsenal was created to be the core of our country. What kind of idiotic weapon? Weapon? No, you're not seeing the full picture. Huh? Arsenal gear is more than just a military tool. It is a means to preserve the world as it is. It will establish a new form of control. The Patriots will use it to keep their place as the country's true rulers. Right now, they feel pressured and threatened. By what? They fear an overabundance of digital information. The world will drown in the coming flood of information, and they along with it. 
The arsenal plans include a system to digitally manage the flow of information, making it possible to shape the truth for their own purposes. In short, the arsenal system is the key to their supremacy. The key? Yes. The GW system is the Patriot's trump card. Arsenal gear will be fully operational when GW is successfully integrated. Once operational, it will be a completely new form of power for the Patriots to wield. I had hoped to seize the project from them so that I would be in a strong bargaining position. Bargain for what? I'd hoped to trade my way into their ranks. Masolidus preferred rebellion. Outer Heaven, his plan to unleash a nuclear blast over the skies of Wall Street to break the Patriots' control over the business community is also a key factor in his offensive effort. Outer Heaven? Listen, there isn't much time. The football served as the key for activating Arsenal gear. I've already input the necessary code sequence. It won't be long before GW begins to establish connections with other external systems and Arsenal gear becomes fully operational. Stop them before that happens. That is your role. Role? You've got to find Emma Emmerich. She's the only one who can stop that thing once it's been activated. Emma Emmerich? She's the system programmer for Arsenal Gear. I believe she's somewhere on level B1 in the core of this building. I thought the levels below us were flooded. I'm sure they won't let her die just yet, as she's the only remaining programmer for this project. According to Ocelot, she was being held in a locker room located in the northwest part of level B1. Cut transmission and get moving. This is card four. It'll give you access all the way to Emma's location. Give this to her when you find her. What is it? A program for disrupting the control functions between GW and Arsenal Gear. Take Emma to the computer room on level B2. Shell 1 core. She'll know how to load the program into the main system. A virus? That's right. Modeled after Foxdie. A biological weapon designed to selectively eliminate personnel with a specific genetic code. But why do you have it? The Patriots had it engineered as a failsafe. And Ocelot forgot to search me. You've got to hurry. That disc is the only way you're going to stop Arsenal. Well... I've told you everything you need to know. There's only one thing that remains to be done. Huh. Now, kill me. What the? There's no time to argue. The final check for my vital ID will start any second. If you kill me now, you'll at least prevent the nuclear strike. Cut it out! Uh, do it! That's your role! Uh, oh. No! Do it! That's abusing your right to free speech, Mr. President. Or is it... Ex-president. The president! Why did you... Alas, my finger must have slipped. I'll see you around, carrier boy. Forget him. He did us a favor. Without free will, there is no difference between submission and rebellion. My only real choice is to put an end to this charade. Let me at least have the freedom to end it myself. What are you? Find Emma. Stop Arsenal. This is my last order as your commander in chief. I'm counting on you. Là, comme certains l'ont dit, effectivement, c'est un dialogue extrêmement important. Euh, ce que j'adore dans les Metal Gear Solid, c'est que le scénario se construit petit à petit. 
à la moitié du jeu, comme là, tu as des scènes très importantes. Parfois, il y a certaines informations qui vont peut-être être contredites plus tard. Mais là, c'est euh, une base qui va servir euh, à tous les jeux qui vont suivre, en fait. Colonel, le président est mort. Je vois. Je suis désolé d'entendre ça. Où allons-nous de là Votre mission était de sauver le président et éliminer les menaces terroristes de terroriste. Mais, compte compte de la dernière récente turn d'événements, nous allons honorer la directive du président. You must put a stop to Arsenal gear once and for all. Do you actually think there's any truth to his story about this big shell facility being a front for Arsenal gear? I don't have the security clearance necessary to verify the facts. However, he was the president. I'm sure he knew what he was talking about. Aren't you forgetting that he was part of the terrorist plot? All the more reason why I believe his information is reliable. Huh? We're talking about a man who chose to die rather than risk a nuclear holocaust. Thanks to his sacrifice, the Nuclear Launch Authority has shifted to the Vice President, effectively eliminating the terrorist threat. Colonel, when you put it like that, it almost sounds like I should have assassinated the President to eliminate the threat. That was not my intention. I was trying to point out that there is certainly some credibility to the words of a man who chose death to protect the innocent. The Colonel has a point, Jack. What about the information he gave me on the Patriots? That's a new one on me. I'll see what I can find out. <sighs> Raiden, we're running out of time. Find Emma. She's supposed to be located on level B1, in the core of that building you're in, right? <sighs> You've got to find her before Arsenal becomes fully operational. Hurry, Jack. It's up to you to make sure that the President didn't sacrifice his life in vain. Understood. Raiden, out. What's your status, Raiden? Snake, the President, he's been assassinated. What? There was nothing I could do. What about the nuclear strike code sequence? He died before his vital ID could be reconfirmed. Then the enemies lost their nuclear strike capability. But that Ocelot guy obviously killed the President on purpose. Why? It doesn't make any sense. They had to know that they couldn't launch the nuke if they killed the President. Maybe there's a way to launch without reconfirming the vital ID. Or maybe they found a more effective weapon within Arsenal gear. You knew about Arsenal gear? Yeah. Why didn't you tell me about it? You never asked. Am I correct in assuming you also know that the Big Shell's a front for the project? You mean, did I know that the Big Shell, a fully functional environmental cleanup facility, was designed to camouflage Arsenal gear? Yeah, I did. It's exactly what the President and Ames described, a massive cover story. The good news is that it hasn't really done much in terms of cleaning up the environment, so we won't have to worry about any toxic gas being released if we have to blow the house down. Right. And when did you find out about all of this? It took a while, but we uncovered the info around the time you took out that mad bomber. <sighs> There's no doubt that Arsenal gear is being built here. Then it was all set up two years ago, on that day. All of it. Two years ago? What really happened here? I took these photos two years ago. I know these pictures. They were on the news on several websites. If I remember right, the reporters blamed you for sinking the tanker. That's right. Otacon. Me. We were used. We'd hoped that by going public with photos of the new Metal Gear, we could persuade the government. At least that was the plan at the time. I've gone through VR training of the tanker mission before. Yeah? Well, I doubt it accurately simulates the events of that mission. I'd infiltrated the dummy tanker to obtain proof that a Metal Gear was under development. Shortly after I made it aboard, an armed group led by Colonel Gerlukovich raided the ship and gained control. Olga and Ocelot were among the raiding party. Yeah, and him. Who are you talking about? A man that was supposed to be dead. Their target was also Metal Gear Ray. But Ocelot eliminated Colonel Gerlukovich and Marine Commander Scott Dolph, and he hijacked Ray. So he betrayed them? I don't know what kind of deal was going down. All I remember is what Ocelot said at the time. Something like, I'm taking it back. Ocelot then sank the tanker, along with the soldiers of the Marine Corps. How did you manage to get out? Otacon managed to have a small boat ready for me. That was the easy part. The tough part was not getting dragged down with a sinking tanker. Small miracle when you think about it. It turned out that the whole thing was a setup to lure us. 
Photos of Snake, taken by the cipher, were released to the public. In turn, we became the world's most wanted environmental terrorists. It was definitely a move aimed at putting a stop to our anti-Metal Gear activities. But why did they choose Snake? Since the Shadow Moses incident, Snake became sort of a hero. I think the Patriots weren't too happy about that. You knew about the Patriots? Well, yes, to a certain degree. It seems like everyone knows about them except me. They didn't choose Snake to be a hero, so they decided to do a smear campaign. I think the Patriots wanted to make an example of him so everybody would think twice before opposing them. That's it! They set all this up just to nail you guys! No, there's more to it than that. The Marines Metal Gear Ray project, headed by Commander Dolph, was carried out in opposition to the Navy's Arsenal Gear project. To be more precise, the Patriots considered Metal Gear Ray to be a thorn in their side. Hence, they attacked the dummy tanker and stole Ray. They followed this up with the perfect plan. They immediately sent a fully loaded tanker to the same location and sank it then set up the facility to camouflage the development of Arsenal gear. And we fell for it. Two more puppets in their show. Colonel Gerlukovich and his daughter Olga? Both fell victim to Ocelot's plot. Was Solidus behind all this? He used Ocelot to get hold of Ray, huh? No, he was underground, keeping a low profile at the time. Then it must be the Patriots. If that's the case, what's Ocelot doing alongside Solidus? Hmm. Forget it. We're wasting time. We can figure this out later. The nuclear strike's been prevented, but Arsenal still has a massive payload of missiles to deal with. Right. If the opposition gets control of those missiles... Raiden, you've got to find Emma. Wait a second. Isn't Emma Emrick? My sister. What's she doing here? You got me. She's a computer whiz who specializes in neural AI and ultra-variable volume data analysis using complex logic. How she got involved in weapons development is beyond me. Hmm. Whatever her reasons, we need her in order to stop Arsenal. Raiden, find her. I'm on my way. <coughs> bon, on va aller retrouver Emma. Mais donc ouais, j'étais en train de vous dire euh, que cette scène était très importante et qu'elle va servir euh, de pilier à tous les jeux Metal Gear Solid qui vont suivre. Parce que parfois, il y a des twists, euh, twists sur twists. Mais là, cette scène, vraiment, faut, faut la retenir, elle était très très importante. Certains diront Kojima complotiste et non pas complètement tort, mais en même temps, est-ce qu'il n'y a pas un fond de vérité là-dedans Il suffit de regarder ce qui s'est passé euh, ces deux dernières années. Mais je ne peux pas en dire plus pour l'instant. Regardez les, les échanges de Del Fressi avec Fauci. Vous comprendrez ce que je veux dire. Euh, et oui, sinon, Intelligence Pixel, tu citais euh, Tomokazu Fukushima. Et comme je l'ai dit, euh, je ne sais plus si je l'ai dit dans la partie précédente ou dans ce live, mais qu'évidemment, euh, on lui doit énormément sur ce MGS2. Et notamment euh, un certain thème qui va arriver après, que je vais pas spoiler. Mais même là, je me demande si c'est pas lui qui a l'origine euh, de l'idée des Patriotes. Parce que quand vous regardez les dernières œuvres de Kojima, elles sont beaucoup moins... Enfin, il n'y a plus la subversion euh, qu'on trouve dans ce MGS2, et même dans une certaine scène de MGS3, après. Que ce soit dans MGS4, Peace Walker, Death Stranding, Phantom Pain. Donc on peut se poser la question, après, de ce que je sais... Euh... Kojima a écrit euh, l'essentiel du scénario de ce MGS2, enfin les, les très grandes lignes, c'est-à-dire euh, tout, tout ce qui est euh, cinématique, euh, phase de codec principale, et, euh, et Tomokazu Fukushima a écrit toutes les scènes de codec optionnel. C'est pour ça d'ailleurs qu'il faudrait que j'appelle plus fréquemment euh, Rose et d'autres personnages. Tout ce qui est optionnel, c'est Tomokazu Fukushima, mais euh, je pense qu'il y a également euh, certains thèmes dont il est euh, à l'origine. Si vous avez joué à Ghost Babel, que vous avez fait tous les Metal Gear, vous verrez en fait le changement de direction à partir pour moi de Metal Gear Solid 4. Et vous verrez que Ghost Babel est, est totalement dans la veine des trois premiers Metal Gear Solid. 
Après, il est aussi possible que Kojima ait changé avec le temps. Hein, c'est. Ah, attends, il me faut de l'oxygène. Je suis perdu. Là. Je suis perdu. Raiden, are you reading me? This is Atacan. What's your situation? Wet and miserable. This place is flooded. The seawater that's been pumped up is pouring into the building. I see. Listen, there's something I have to tell you about EE. E. Don't worry about her. I'll get her out. She's afraid of water. What? Yeah. When she was six years old, she almost drowned with my father in our swimming pool. She can't swim? Well, yes and no. We used to swim a lot together when we were kids. In fact, she swam like a fish until that day when she almost drowned. When the accident happened, I was in my room. I learned later that EE e. was calling me for help. She didn't doubt for a minute that I'd be there. You could see the pool from my room, but I didn't realize at the time that she needed my help. What were you doing? I... I was... So Emma survived the ordeal? Yeah, but my father didn't. So you blamed yourself and left your family? No. E.E. E. seems to believe that was the case. The fact is, I betrayed her. And you think she can't swim because of the traumatic experience? I haven't seen her since that day, but yes, I think so. I got a letter from Julie, her mother, after they moved back to England. In her letter, she mentioned that E.E. E. couldn't swim anymore, that she refused to even wear a bathing suit. Damn, if she still can't swim, we're in trouble. Level B1 in the core is pretty much flooded. Look, maybe you can help her overcome the trauma. You want me to help her get over it? Well, it's still gonna take some time to repair the cam off. Sorry, kid. Emma's rescue is up to you. <laughs> Thanks. An underwater mission. Well, this is a first. Look, I'll see what I can do. I suggest that you drum the map of the building into your head, because you won't have time to look at it when you try to bring Emma out. I'm counting on you, Raiden. I covered most of the core when I had to take out the C4s. If there's anything you need to ask me, call me on the codec. I'll do that. Eh bien non, les, les conversations codec optionnelles ont, ont été écrites par Tomokazu Fukushima. J'avais trouvé ça sur un article traduit à, à Perpète. Hein. Vous pouvez facilement trouver sur Google hein, quelle est son implication, il y a des interviews traduites. J'ai plus ça me regardera de toute façon on reparlera du scénario du jeu après Après tout ce que je dis là n'enlève rien au génie de Kojima sur les MGS Ça reste un avant-gardiste avec toute son équipe C'est assez incroyable ce qu'ils ont fait Et ouais c'est dommage que Fukushima je sais pas ce qui lui est arrivé après MGS 3 j'avais lu des rumeurs comme quoi il, il aurait pu être tué par les Yakuza ou je sais pas quoi, un délire. Je <rire> sais pas ce qui s'est passé. Et il me semble que Kojima il fait jamais référence, c'est quand même bizarre. Hein. Pour un mec qui a tant importé. Hein. Attends, on va reprendre un peu d'air. Remonte à la surface, Raiden, vite, vite, vite. Qu'est-ce qu'il fout ce con J'ai un mal de chien, je déteste ces phases aquatiques. Bon, on y retourne. Ah, attends, la, la porte s'ouvre pas là. C'est une blague. On peut pas l'ouvrir. Hein. Faut peut-être passer par là. J'aime plus de où on est. Ah oui, d'accord, c'était juste là. En fait. Très bien! Still ticking, huh? Unfortunately, hell had no vacancies.
human muscles are quite eloquent. They speak out clearly what a person's next move will be. They even tell me which way a gun is going to be pointed before the trigger is pulled. But your muscles, they're different. This should be fun. Well worth the wait. You knew I was coming? You've become a nuisance. I can't let you interfere with Arsenal gear. The girl is just ahead. She is of no use to us now. But she served us well as the live bait for the big catch. Crazy Ivan sometimes speaks the truth. Emma's alive? She was some time ago. But the flooding has become quite serious. I wouldn't be surprised if she's a mermaid now. What? Did you really think killing the president would prevent a nuclear strike? Think again. I didn't do it. <laughs> Arsenal is still armed with a purified hydrogen bomb. Purified hydrogen bomb? This is no ordinary nuclear bomb. This weapon is capable of heavy hydrogen nuclear fusion using lasers and magnetics to generate heat-insulated compression. It was a top-secret project initiated by the current president, and Solidus has no idea of its existence. The clean thermonuclear bomb is at an experimental stage and is handled differently. Specifically, it becomes launch-capable when Arsenal is activated. A nuclear threat still exists. Six months ago, we lost everything we believed in. We were abandoned to take the fall in their cover-up. We were labeled as killers, responsible for the mass murder of civilians, as well as our own allies. And the public believed every word, turning a deaf ear to whatever we had to say to the contrary. Our only goal is to wipe them from the face of the earth, and destroy this world of deceit they have created along with them. You're insane. Insane? We might be the only ones telling the truth. Final check for activating Arsenal has been completed. All Arsenal personnel report to your stations. Well, it sounds like Arsenal's ready to go into operation. Damn it! You're still hoping that the girl can install that virus you're carrying around, aren't you? You know? <sighs> it's a shame you're not going to be around long enough to hand her the program. That isn't seawater, you know. It's a byproduct of the microbes contained in the pool. Buoyancy is practically non-existent thanks to the high oxygen content. Once you walk in, you don't come up. Take a good look at your grave. Show me what you've got. <sighs> Allez, c'est reparti. Euh, attendez, je fais le mix. Petite save. Et on fait le boss. Putain, je me souviens plus du tout comment le but fait. Je sais que je prenais le M4. Ouais, bah c'est ça. C'est au M4 qu'on va le buter. La pantille en haut, ça sert à rien. Oh le con. Ah, c'est game over direct là Ah, ça, je me souvenais pas. Oh putain On va faire attention à pas tomber dans la flotte. Hein. Oh putain Attention à la flotte. Notre pire ennemi ça nous one shot.
Alors, je sais quoi, on va, on va tenter le Stinger sur lui. On peut l'avoir dans l'eau ou pas Il agit cet enfoiré. Ouf putain. Vas-y, sort de ta cachette. Ouais, c'est quoi ça, 
Putain, il fait mal en soi, là. La vache. Putain, il y a des choses qu'on va, je me rappelle pas. Les mecs. Putain, c'était chaud. Colonel, they've apparently completed the final check procedure for Arsenal gear. Find Emma on the double. You've got to get her to install the virus program that the President gave you. When you find her, take her to the computer room on level B2 in the core of Shell 1. Snake, did you catch all that? I didn't make it on time. Arsenal's going active. Yeah, I heard. The hostage rescue's gonna have to wait. I'm going after Emma. We'll secure the computer room. Looks like we can't install the virus program without Emma. Can't your partner do it? I would if I could, but the security for this system is no joke. I need more time. That's why we need her. Understood. I'll make sure you have your family reunion. Uh, what's up? A lot of years have passed between E.E. E. and me. Then you should see her, right? I don't have the right to see her. We can talk about this later. Raiden, I think you'd better get moving. Emma's in the locker room to the north, right? I'm on it. Si, si je devais le refaire en extrême là, ça serait méga méga chaud. Je me souvenais pas qu'il était aussi dur vamp. J'ai le souvenir que Solidus à la fin c'est assez chaud. Mais vamp de souvenir c'était pas aussi chaud. Ouais. Allez. Euh, ah oui attendez, je voulais qu'on appelle Rose. On a quasiment pas appelé la pauvre. What's up Jack on va lui faire une sauvegarde pour faire plaisir. Jack. What is it? I've always been alone. Huh? I'm so lonely. Lonely? Rose, we've always... Not always. What do you mean? You've never slept beside me. What are you talking about? I... After we've been together in my room, you stay awake all night, or you head for the door. Is this really the time to bring this up? Why, Jack? Why? Listen, Rose, I'm right in the middle of a mission, and I... Why? Why can't you relax when you're with me? Look, the mission, I... Why don't you open up to me? Rose, I, I just can't. All I ever wanted was to share your dreams, to spend a meaningful evening with you. I just wanted to find you by my side when I woke up. Is that asking too much? It's the night. I'm scared of the night. 
It's got nothing to do with you. Scared of the night? What's that supposed to mean? I can't relax when I'm with someone. Jack, you wouldn't even let me in your room. I need privacy. I just can't be bothered. Bothered? Wrong word. What I wanted to say was that there are certain things that I have to keep to myself. Do you remember that time I forced my way into your room? We'd known each other for almost a year, and you blew up. It was the first time you ever raised your hand against me. I was so worried about you. Look, I'm sorry. It wasn't your violent nature that scared me. It was your room, your heart. Stop it. There wasn't anything in your room. Only a bed and a small desk. It looked like a prison cell. <sighs> Rose? No television set. No family pictures. Not even a poster. Rose, I only use that room for sleeping. A lifeless room. Almost like your empty heart. That's why I tried to keep you out. I thought I was beginning to understand you. Until I saw that room. Would you have been happier if I had a picture of you hanging on the wall? That's not what I was trying to say. Enough, Rose. We'll talk about this later. After the mission. Right. After the mission. I understand. Quand vous pensez que ce genre de dialogue c'est optionnel, c'est quand même assez incroyable. Putain, avec la musique là, ça déchire. Mais il va falloir attendre la fin du jeu pour que ça prenne encore plus d'épaisseur. Mais on faudra qu'on pense à rapper Rose quand même. Hein. Je sens qu'on lui manque beaucoup. Allez, on enchaîne. Hey Jack. Euh. Ne pas sauvegarder. Take care, Jack. Oui. A plus. Quel a body. Incroyable ça. Bon attendez, j'ai... Voilà. <rire> eh oui, quelqu'un dit euh, Jack Hero, ça fait penser à Titanic, c'est fait exprès. Il y a plein de références dans ce jeu. Comme dans tous les jeux de Kojima d'ailleurs. Moi je préfère la référence à Titanic, à Mario et Peach dans Death Stranding. Vous vous rappelez de Death Stranding Non mais attendez, j'ai pas activé le radar, c'est normal. On va prendre un peu d'oxygène. Un plus le temps Me dites pas que je suis revenu là où j'étais. Hein. Non, c'est bon. Ah mais il était là le petit radar. Bien Are you all right? Who are you? Raiden, I'm getting you out of here. Get me out? You're lying. Where are you taking me this time? What are you talking about? I'm here to help. Here, I'll prove it. Do you have nanos? What? Well, do you? I do. Everybody on this project has them. Okay, good. Let's try. Can you hear me now? Nano communication? That's right. I have nano machines too. Then you're not one of them. That's what I've been trying to tell you. And you came to rescue me? Actually, I need your help to stop Arsenal. I understand you're the only one who might be able to do it. And who told you that? The president. Really? I need you to come with me to Shell One. Your brother's waiting for you there. My brother? Come on! We have to get moving! 
This place will be flooded soon. Swim. You used to love it. How do you know? Your brother told me. He's really here? That's right. He's here to rescue you. I don't believe you. He would never come for me. And I'm telling you he's here, waiting for us at Shell One. No! He left me, my mother, when we needed him the most. When my father died, all he could think about was himself. Emma, we can go over all that later. But first, we have to get out of here. No! I hate water! It's hopeless! I can't swim! I can't swim! You can do it! I can't! Come on, deep down inside, you know you can swim! I can't keep my eyes open in the water. Endless blue. The water, it, it wants me. It won't let me go. All right, then close your eyes. I'll guide you. I, I, I was injected with something. My legs. I have trouble moving them. Listen, Emma, just hold your breath. I'll do the rest. First, we'll head to filter chamber two. Then we'll take a break. And all I have to do is hold my breath. That's right. How long? Just a little while. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. That's how I got here. I, I don't think I can do it. I'm not good at holding my breath. Look, Emma, I have an idea. Put your ear against my chest and listen to my heartbeat. Your heartbeat? Count the beats. Don't think about anything else. When you reach 100, open your eyes. By that time, we'll be on the other side. Give me a signal if you think you're running out of breath. What will you do then? I'll swim faster. Hang on tight. Okay, let's go. I'm closing my eyes. Take some deep breaths. One, two, three. Wait! What is it? Uh, let me take off my glasses. You know, you should wear contacts. There's nothing wrong with my eyes. Hmm? I wear them for show. Trying to be different from the other girls? No, it's not like that. I like glasses. And there's this guy I like who used to wear them. Your first boyfriend? No. Somebody more important. Anyway, they bring me luck. I see. Okay, let's go. Allez, c'est parti pour euh, ce qui est certainement la phase la plus casse-cou du jeu. Parce que là, on va devoir... Euh, c'est un peu une phase à la Ico. Alors, je sais plus si Kojima s'est inspiré de Ico, parce que Ico est sorti quasiment en même temps qu'MGS2. Euh, Peut-être qu'il avait vu des trailers, ce qui l'avait inspiré, je ne sais plus. Ah oui, on peut la prendre par la main. C'est mignon. Non, Ico, Ico, le jeu PlayStation 2. Le jeu du Eda. You did good. I concentrated on your heartbeat. It reminded me of when I was a kid. I 
I remember my brother giving me a piggyback ride. I was sleeping with my ear against his back. I could hear his heartbeat. Sounds like you were close. We were, back then. We were stepchildren in our parents' second marriages. Wherever my brother went, I used to tag along. My brother didn't have any close friends, so he used to take care of me. We both wanted to be loved so much. So much that we used to pretend. Pretend? Yeah, we used to play house. My brother was the husband and I was the wife. But it was always just make-believe. We were only kids. You know what I mean. I never had a family, but I think I know what you mean. Raiden, what's your status? Colonel, I've got Emma Emmerich here. We've managed to avoid drowning. Good job. Get her over to Shell 1 as soon as you can. That's going to be hard with the connecting bridge on the upper level destroyed. Didn't Olga say something about taking the oil fence at the bottom of Strut L? Yeah, I remember that. You should be able to go down by way of Strut L. Try and get over there. What about Emma? She's been injected with something and she can't walk without any help. Take her with you. Free your hands of any equipment and hold down the action button to give her a hand. To release your grip on her, take your finger off the action button. Emma can sit and wait until you help her back up. And be careful. You won't be able to use any weapons while you're leading her. Now head for Strut L. We're on our way. Raiden, we've infiltrated the computer room. What's your situation? Emma's safe. We're heading your way. Ah. <sighs> Good job. Shell 1's deserted. Looks like everybody's aboard Arsenal. I had a look at the system, but there's nothing I can do. EE's our only hope. Right. I'll put her on then. Huh? EE? -E? How? I'll use my Kodak as a relay. Uh, <clears throat> Here she is. Uh, how? Uh, EE, -E, is that you? How? EE. -E. Um. Why are you involved with Metal Gear? Huh? You knew our family's dark history and still got involved? What's wrong with you? I should have known. Answer me. Why are you repeating the same mistake? I... I wanted to hurt you. I wanted to see you suffer. E.E.? -E? You abandoned me. No, that's not what happened. All right. That's enough. <sighs> Who are you? I'm a friend of Otacon's, Emma. Otacon? Enough with the sibling rivalry. That's not what this is. We haven't got time for this. Raiden, get her over here right now. I... I... Gotcha, Snake. I'll head over there with Emma. Most of the enemies aboard Arsenal, but I suggest you be careful. Make sure Emma gets here in one piece. Raiden, take care of my sister. Don't worry. I'll get her there. Oula, ça fait bugger. On va faire une petite save. Donc clairement le personnage d'Emma c'est pas le plus intéressant du jeu, très loin de là. D'ailleurs quand je pense à MGS2, je n'y pense jamais à ce perso. Allez, vite vite vite, allez plus vite. Ah quel boulet. Et je sais pas trop comment Kojima a pu pomper ça parce que... Parce que les jeux sont sortis vraiment très proches, hein, quelques mois d'écart. Allez, un petit effort. This disc is supposed to contain a virus that can corrupt Arsenal Gear's operating system. We need you to. This is. This is my program. What? Why did the president give it to you? Huh? Did something happen to the president? Dead. What? You actually wrote this virus? It's not really a virus. It's more like a worm cluster. It's actually a delayed effect autonomous program that's designed to invade GW cerebrum and render its nerve connections useless. You know what GW is? Of course. I created it. Huh? You look surprised. Uh, well. Cat got your tongue? I'm sorry. I. 
How about the Patriots? Ever heard of them? Yes, but I only know what I've been told. Can you tell me what you know? Um, sure, but it's hard to put into words. Right. Are you reading me, Emma? Yes, loud and clear. The President said that arsenal gear was the Patriots' key to supremacy. That's as good a description as any. What exactly is it? It's a massive data processing system capable of controlling information on a global scale. A data processing system? That's right. The system's a social device for maintaining the Patriots' control. You've lost me. Well, in this day and age, information emerges from every direction and is freely distributed. A variety of information gathered by servers employing the latest in high-speed communication networks and P2P technology is rapidly circulated to individuals. In fact, the speed of this circulation process is accelerating on an almost daily basis. The Patriots seem to be afraid of this development. Apparently, they believe that their role will shift from dominant to dominated. Huh? Let me give you an example. You're aware of Solid Snake's anti-Metal Gear activities, aren't you? Yeah, I know a little about it. Well, that's just a small sample of uncontrolled information. I can guarantee you the Patriots did not want Solid Snake's name publicized. Now, look at it like this. Political scandal, corporate corruption, up until now, the Patriots have managed to keep a lid on these and other self-serving events. But with their existing data processing system, they're no longer able to effectively control the flow of information generated at the individual level. With the newly created system, they can fully regulate digital information. High-level information can be categorized in stages, given clearance levels, and deleted as necessary, never to be seen by the public. By deleting such information, the Patriots can shape the course of history as they see fit. Somebody's bound to catch on. No, the memory capacity, not to mention the lifespan of the average individual, is extremely limited. On the other hand, digital information lasts virtually forever. It doesn't deteriorate. So? The alphabet. 26 letters, right? It could have been 30 letters. What if the four deleted letters were controlled by a program? Impossible. It's not. In fact, something similar is already underway. Do you know how many genes exist in an individual? About 30 to 40,000? Right. That's what was announced at the turn of the century. But there's actually 100,000 according to the original theory advanced by the scientific community. Information regarding the remaining 60,000 was suppressed by the Patriots. No. Why? How would you know? Do you know what a gene looks like? Did you count them yourself? There are research organizations. Of course. And their reports have already been subtly altered. They're even beginning to believe the doctored reports. GW is a system that allows the Patriots to decide what will be recorded in tomorrow's history. So what we're talking about is one huge censorship system for deleting information which might be inconvenient to the Patriots. Exactly. The actual physical core for handling the task, GW, is installed in Arsenal. It's the only system in the world with an optic neural AI that has a parallel processing capacity of 980 trillion hammets. I suppose that being a specialist in neural AI and complex logic played a significant role in your association with the Metal Gear project. That's not the only reason. What do you mean? Huh. I guess there are plenty of other reasons. Yes, there are. I understand. Do you? So Arsenal Gear was actually designed to protect the GW system, wasn't it? Um, yes. It's armed with everything, including nuclear weapons, and is fully equipped with cyber-terrorist countermeasures. Physically and logically, it's the ultimate fortress for housing GW. But is the AI actually capable of controlling everything? No. GW is only the system's core. It's only for deciding what data is stored or deleted. The actual subsystem for executing the task exists within our social structure. What? Do you remember the panic that gripped the computer industry prior to the end of the century? You mean the Y2K problem? That's right. If you recall, our government supplied the world with a countermeasure program, using the internet at full capacity. The program was distributed to every governmental organization, every key facility throughout the world. In addition, the same program was included in an OS application for distribution among the public. Let me guess. The Y2K countermeasure contained a program designed by the Patriots. Yes, and everything supplied from that day onward contains the same program. Impossible. 
Do you know how a computer operates? Do you really know the basic principles on how data is exchanged? Uh, Nobody's aware of it, but there's a subsystem in place, and it's about to be activated. Is that why Solidus wants to burn out every electrical circuit in Manhattan with a nuclear blast? Probably, but the overall system isn't actually complete. What? It still lacks the necessary factors for judging situations. I heard they were planning a major experiment in the next few days to provide complex data for GW to study. And suddenly all this happens. Emma, it's not your fault. If it wasn't for the terrorists... Yeah, you're right. Well, I think that's about all I know. Right. Uh, thanks. I think we'd better head for the computer room. My bird in the computer room! Is he safe? That noisy overgrown parakeet? Excuse me, he's a parrot. And he's my best friend. My only friend. Well, the bird's okay. Good. Did you know that in the old days, miners used to take a canary into the mine shafts to detect toxic gas? That's what he's for? No. I really needed someone to talk to. Right. I think we'd better get moving. We've got a little longer to cover than the last time. I'll give it my best. Whatever you do, don't open your eyes. Why not? A dead body, not a pretty sight. Ugh. Once we get past it, it'll be too dark to see anything. What are those sticks in your head? These? They're lacquered chopsticks. They hold your hair in place. Did you know that they're pretty popular in Europe and South America? Can't say that I do. You're not only cute, but smart, too. Oh, I'm much more than cute. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Putain, c'est quand même génial, les mecs. Hein. Que quel chef dœuvre ce jeu. Vous vous rendez compte que ce jeu a 20 ans Ça vient pas de sortir. Hein. Ça a 20 ans, mais ça pourrait ressortir en l'état, ça serait toujours aussi pertinent. Parce qu'à l'époque, euh, quand MGS2 est sorti, ça, ça nous paraissait abstrait, enfin, surtout pour moi, parce que là, quand il parle d'Internet, du contrôle de l'information euh, numérique, etc., moi, j'ai vu Internet euh, trois ans avant, euh, avec un débit catastrophique. Je veux dire, même en 2001-2002, j'avais pas Internet magnifique. Donc, c'était très abstrait, mais en fait, plus, plus, plus on vieillit, plus on se rend compte que, putain, c'est incroyablement visionnaire. Hein. Vous avez vu le tri de l'information, réécrire l'histoire, etc., les deux dernières années, <rire> bref... J'en dis pas plus, vous savez exactement ce qu'il faut comprendre. Mais euh... Non, c'est incroyable. Ça, ça, je suis quasi persuadé que ça vient de Tomokazu Fukushima. Mais du coup, par contre, j'avais oublié que c'était Emma qui enclenchait ce dialogue euh, fort intéressant. Donc un perso très très intéressant. Parce que ça, ça fait partie vraiment du cœur du jeu. De toute façon, ça va... Ça, ça va revenir après hein, dans le scénario un peu plus tard, je vous spoil pas. Mais j'avais oublié que c'était Emma qui enclenchait euh, la thématique. Qui est passionnante. Et qu'on vit actuellement plus que jamais. Y a, pas, y a vraiment pas à dire les gars, on est face à un chef dœuvre absolu. À part cette phase aquatique de con. Hein. Mais encore ça va, franchement elle est moins pire que dans mes souvenirs. Qu'est-ce que j'ai fait Ah merde Elle est plus d'oxygène Si, en fait, c'est vraiment une phase de con. Si, si, je, je maintiens, c'est une phase de con. Bon, on reparlera de tout ça à la fin, les gars, si vous avez encore la pêche, d'ici la fin du stream. Ouais, c'est fou, hein, les, les données qui sont effacées... Les articles, et puis, puis Ryle dit un truc qui est, qui est extrêmement vrai, qui est terrible, mais les gens ont une mémoire de poisson rouge. Hein. Alors que sur internet, les informations qui ont été triées et validées restent à jamais. Mais euh... Quoi que je sais pas, parce qu'il y, y a un truc qui m'a fait marrer. Il y a un film de Didier Bourdon qui est sorti récemment, là. Attendez, bien, on se dépêche, parce que je parle trop, là. Merde Oh putain, ah non, vraiment, cette phase... Tellement se dépêcher. Putain, elle va canner la peau. Donc, oui, je vous disais, il y a un film avec Bourdon qui est sorti récemment, L'homme parfait. 
Et ce qui m'a fait marrer, c'est que le film a complètement bidé. Il a fait, euh, je crois, 55 000 entrées. Enfin, un bide absolu. Peut-être un peu plus, tu vois. Et je suis content de voir que euh, les gens n'ont pas oublié ces déclarations du début d'année. Vous me direz, c'était il n'y a pas longtemps, mais... Souvent, quand ça va bien, quand c'est l'été, les gens oublient tout. J'espère que les gens n'oublieront pas ce qui s'est passé ces deux dernières années. Tous les connards, les gens qui n'ont pas pris la parole, etc., etc. Très important. Ah. Moi, Bourdon, c'est, je vous l'ai dit, c'est terminé. Hein. Comme les 500 artistes euh, dont j'ai gardé la liste. Allez, faut, faut avancer, Emma. On va faire une petite save. Parce que j'ai pas envie de me retaper ce passage si le PC crash. Ah oui, les cafards J'avais oublié. Qu'on fasse le ménage, là. C'est dégueulasse, ici. C'est énorme. Ça, regardez le nombre de petits cafards, là. Bon, c'est des modèles en 2D, mais on s'en fout, c'est marrant. Cassez-vous Allez, du balai. Ah, c'est dégueulasse. Qu'est-ce qu'il y a de plus dégueulasse que les cafards Les rats, peut-être On va certainement pas la cogner après les informations très très intéressantes qu'elle vient de nous communiquer. Là, le, le perso a regagné 10 points de charisme à mes yeux. J'avais complètement zappé qu'elle disait ça. Moi, je retiens surtout... Euh, J'avais surtout retenu le côté ouin ouin. Et après, il y a une scène, vous verrez. J'en dis pas plus. Mais par contre, pour les plus attentifs et ceux qui découvrent l'univers, vous verrez qu'il y a beaucoup de points communs avec Metal Gear Solid, le premier qu'on a fait euh, hier et avant-hier dans la structure, dans les personnages, et vous savez que quand on accompagne une jeune demoiselle, après, ça se passe pas forcément très bien. J'en dis pas plus. On va prendre aucun risque, on va les endormir. Mais qui regarde la porte. Oh le con. Merde, je crois que j'ai endormi. <rire> bon, 
c'est pas on va la transporter comme ça, c'est pas grave. J'ai fait une awak. Là j'ai endormi tout le monde, on est bon. Est-ce qu'il va me faire une réflexion là Oh putain, oh les cons. Ah bah désolé, ma, j'ai pas eu le choix. Allez, faites dodo. Quelle galère Niveau y'a rien de tendancieux. Par contre, je me pose une question. Est-ce que des gens ont déjà streamé MGS2 en entier Parce qu'il y a une certaine phase à la fin du jeu. Est-ce qu'on peut la streamer Ceux qui l'ont fait, vous saurez à quoi je fais référence. Il n'y a pas de problème avec YouTube. Bon, on s'en sort pas si mal. Et moi j'avance dans le jeu les mecs J'avance, et eh oui Ça vous pose un problème On sait que ça passera, mais j'espère aussi Il nous file des munitions pour le sniper. C'est être... Oula, attendez. Est-ce que ça va s'effondrer là Je ne sais plus. Non, ça, ça. Tout est réparé. Ils ont réparé le pont, c'est magnifique. Allez, Emma, encore un petit effort. Et oui, je sais, c'est dur. Et non mais vous savez à quoi je fais référence les gars, vous avez bien compris Qu'est-ce qui se passe là Ah merde il y avait un drôle. J'ai pas vu. Vous savez à quoi je fais référence ou pas Disons qu'il y a une certaine scène à la fin on n'est pas très habillé. Attendez, on, va, on va reload là. Pas de soucis, ok, merci. Je vais être sûr, parce qu'avec les nouvelles conneries sur YouTube, on n'est jamais trop prudent. Ouais mais on voit son cul quoi. <rire> C'est ça le problème. Où est-ce que je dois aller Je ne sais plus. Par là. Ah putain c'est pas pratique avec la touche tremble parce que je fume en même temps. Hein. Putain j'ai l'index de la main droite sur triangle, le pouce de la main droite sur le joystick. Avec la main gauche. Je suis pompier. Mais bon. Allez vite. Vite avant que ça se rallume. This door is security level 5. I don't have card 5. Damn. Giving up already? 
Ta-da! What the? Are you impressed? You should have told me you had it. Well, the truth is, I just remembered it myself. face sympa qui nous attend. Pardon. Autant pour moi, je vais faire le ménage. Oh, putain, je joue comme un pied là. question for you. What is it? How do you feel about heights? I can't say I like heights. The water's higher on my phobia list. Why? Well, we have to go down a ladder. How far down? Just a little bit. Why do I feel like we've had this conversation before? How little is little? Mm, about 130 feet. Hmm. Huh. Think you can do it? Would you take no for an answer? How are your legs? Better. The numbness is gone. I can climb down on my own. Okay, follow me. Putain, le doublage français a vraiment été laissé à un amateur total, c'est incroyable. Enfin, je vais sauter pas. If we don't hurry, it'll be the last we see. Enemy soldiers, gun ciphers. I don't think we're gonna be able to slip past all that. Looks like it can barely support one person. How much do you weigh, Emma? Are you going to ask me how old I am next? If you go alone, I think you can make it across. This is Raiden. Do you read me? Yeah. What's up? We've made it to the lower part of Strut L. We'll have to cross the water from here. Can Emma walk? Yeah, she's okay. The pontoon bridge doesn't look too sturdy. Emma's going to have to cross it alone. Right. The oil fence. There are ciphers and several guards. Raiden, you're carrying a PSG-1, aren't you? Yeah. It's time to play sniper. Not bad. This spot gives me a good view of the targets. You're going to have to cover Emma until she crosses to Strut E. I'll get there and provide some support of my own. Thanks. Think you can handle it? Yeah, I know the drill. I faced a similar situation in Advanced Mode Level 4 VR training with the PSG-1. 
VR. Uh, guess it's better than nothing. Make sure you don't hit Emma. Right now, with Arsenal's boarding in progress, security should be at a minimum. That doesn't mean it's going to be easy. Given the situation, they probably got claymores in place to make up for the security shortage. Make sure you use your thermal goggles. Right. Okay, I'm heading for strut E. Emma, are you reading me? Loud and clear. I'm gonna clear a path for you from here. How? Sniper fire. You're kidding. Trust me. What if I fall into the sea? I, I can't swim. You were doing pretty good a few minutes ago. Okay. Think you can do it? Would you take no for an answer? No. no. All right, get going. You'll be fine. Ah oui, bon, on va essayer de, on va essayer d'assurer. Cette phase pourrait être quand même potentiellement un tout petit peu casse-couille. Je crois que c'est la dernière phase au sniper, donc on peut se permettre d'utiliser euh, tous nos médocs. On va équiper. la touche pour zoomer euh, est ce que je vois des mines ah un drone qui s'est passé il y avait une mine <rire> je l'ai pas vu what the f ah mais attendez faut que je prenne les lunettes thermiques aussi ah ouais, donc c'est chiant, je vais devoir switcher. Euh... Bon, c'est pas grave. Euh... On va en prendre un des maintenant. Ah oui, d'accord Putain Mais je... je vise en plein dedans, c'est incroyable ça Très bon, on va nettoyer le terrain. Il nous faut un petit médoc. Ça c'est pour moi, c'est cadeau. Eh bien, qu'est-ce qu'on a On a un petit drone. Et d'où ils sortent On les a pas vus eux Le drone là. Oh putain. Quel enfer. Voilà, bien. Allez, faut réguler leur espèce, c'est important. Bon, voilà, on est pas mal là. Hein Petit drone. Ne serait-ce pas des mines que je vois ah, Ça ressemble à des... Oh putain Oh là 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 Ils sont jamais très généreux en... En évoque. C'est tout Je crois que c'est tout. Oh putain Une de drone... Bien. Bah voilà on a tout clean On est tranquille maintenant Putain il y en a un autre On va garder euh, Notre attention sur Emma Oh merde Ah oui j'ai plus de balles Merci beaucoup c'est très généreux oh Ils ont mis des drones Attendez, on est où là Ils étaient ces putains de drones. Ils ont repop. Putain. 
Oh Parkinson Raiden. Voilà. Ah non, ils reviennent à l'infini ces putains de drones. Je vous en prie. Oui, c'est bon. J'ai atteint ma position de sniping sur Strut E. Je vais vous donner un support de fire de ici. Right. Do me a favor and take out whatever I miss. Just call me when you want me to shoot. Elle est où cette connerie là Il n'y a plus grand chose à faire, Snake. J'ai nettoyé le terrain. Vous savez quoi, on va appeler Snake. Snake, I can't handle this alone. Ok, I'll take care of it. I'm going to show you how sniping should be handled. Take a good look. My sniping field will be limited to the area you're watching through your PSG-1 scope. Keep a good lookout on Emma's surroundings, even while I'm shooting, alright Ah, il fait plaisir, Snake. Il va nous aider. Voilà, c'est très bien. Voilà, Snake. Occupe-toi de... Super Est-ce que j'ai plus beaucoup de médocs, moi J'ai Parkinson, mon vieux. Voilà, c'est bien. Nettoie aussi les mouettes, là. La faune et la flore, faut que tout dégage. Faut tout dévaster, là. Oh, le... Voilà, le drone aussi. On emmerdait partout, Snake, là. Elles, elles sont chiantes, ces mouettes. Emma pourrait glisser sur une merde de mouettes. Je propose de les tuer. Ah. Bon, Est-ce qu'elle peut se dépêcher un peu plus Vas-y, Snake, vas-y. Encore, encore. C'est bien, c'est bien, ça. Voilà, ça aussi. Tout ça, ça dégage. Elle est où, Emma, là ah. Tiens, on va virer les lunettes. Il est pas beau, notre Snake. Notre Snake Sniper. Mais jurez vous il a de la peinture de guerre sur la gueule là. Ou c'est un problème de texture. Et pas si haut. Là. On est d'accord qu'on a tout déminé. On a tout bien déminé. On est bon. Une safe state s'impose. Cette petite aide automatique. Voilà. Pro player.
Ryden. Emma's been stabbed. That bastard! How bad is it? She's conscious, but the bleeding's bad. I'm bringing her over there right now. <laughs> Ryden, get that disc over here as soon as possible. I'm afraid her time's running out. I'll be there! Allez, on se mène le cul. Non, pardon, on entend le dialogue. Snake, what's your situation over there? Emma seems to be uh doing something to GW's defensive capabilities. All we need now is your disc. You'd better hurry. I don't think she's gonna make it. How's the bleeding? She's just get over here. You'll find the coast is clear with everybody aboard Arsenal right now. Understood. Ce serait peut-être le moment d'appeler Rose, non Qu'en pensez-vous Je vais faire une petite save. On va appeler Rose. Voir si on a un petit dialogue sympa. Hey Jack Tick. Peut-être que je suis obligé de sauvegarder. Jack, I guess you need to sit. Non, il n'a rien à dire de spécial. Ok, très bien. Allez, on enchaîne. Go. Le petit carton de Zone of the qui fait plaisir. Autre chose. C'est pas par là du tout que je dois aller. Non, je suis con. Attends, euh, je sais que j'avais sauvegardé. Ouais, t'es là. C'était là où on avait... Euh... Arsenal's launch has initiated a security lockout. Autocons managed to... Putain, je sais plus où on doit aller. Mais c'est par là. Vu l'écoute de la musique, c'est très bien. On était sur le bon chemin là. Je crois qu'il fallait retourner dans la salle du perroquet. C'est ce que j'ai un souvenir avec ce truc là. Bon écoutez, on va tracer en ligne droite, c'est pas grave. À moins que ce soit par là. Ah bah oui, c'est peut-être par là. La salle avec le perroquet, je crois que c'est par là. Hein. On va voir. Je crois que c'est le chemin. 
persuadé que c'est dans la salle avec le perroquet. Dégagez les cafards. Voilà, c'était bien là, super. We can't stop the bleeding. should insert the virus into the AI. Is it working? Just leave it to Emma. What the? An antibody agent? Damn, the connection has been cut. Is the virus upload complete? I don't think so. The count stopped at 90%. Otacon. I don't think Emma's made any mistakes, but a portion of the worm cluster might have been altered after the disc left Emma's hands. By the Patriots? Will the virus still work? I have no idea. Hal is... Is everything all right? Uh, it's all right. Everything's all right. Good. At least I, I won't be adding another page to our family's dark history. Yeah, that's right. What if the virus doesn't work? Either destroy that thing or take out Solidus and his men. How do we get on board? Hmm. I don't think we can. Unless somebody inside gives us a hand. What is it? What's wrong with EE? E? Emma? 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 
am I? Answer me. Because of the accident, I had, I had a relationship with your mother. She seduced me. And it went on. My father's death was no accident. He took his own life. It was my fault, all my fault. Forgive me, Emma. Arsenal gear is ready for launch. Evacuate the upper levels immediately. Sounds like they're cutting this area loose. What do you mean? It means we're gonna sink. We have to get the hostages out. What about the camera repairs? Done. We won't be able to get everybody aboard. We'll just have to take as many as we can. My sister... won't be able to come with us. We will be commencing the countdown shortly. Personnel in the upper levels, head for the evacuation area immediately. I'm always the survivor. Why, Wolf? What about you guys? We got other arrangements. Huh? There's our ride out of here. Anyway, we're gonna have to sink that thing if the virus doesn't work. I should be going with you. You've got your job. We've got ours. You mean, I'd only get in your way. Wrong. Only you can save those hostages. Got it? Right. Listen, the two of you won't be able to destroy that thing. Eliminate the enemy, that's your only option. get as many hostages out as you can. It's a short flight to the shore, so don't worry about overloading the cam off. <laughs> Leave it to me.
well. I miss you. I miss you. I miss you. <laughs> you and me, we're the same. Both you and I, we were always alone. Always. We only wanted to be loved. We were always waiting. Waiting for somebody. Somebody who would love us, but we were wrong. You can't wait to be loved. You have to go out and find it. Four years ago, I realized that you can't just wish for a happy family. You have to make it happen. I only wish I knew that sooner. I learned that I could love, as you probably did, Emma. You think he's gonna be okay? He's tougher than he looks. Consider it done. Now, how do we open this thing? You can come out now. A ninja? What the? Arsenal's going to take off. We still need you to take care of a few things. This time, you will fail us. Snake, what's this all about? Bedtime, right? I would do that. You're changing sides now? Change sides? I don't recall saying I was on yours. Damn it. You! Ready for some shut eye. Jack, are you reading me? Do you want to save your mission data up to this point? Your mission data has been saved. Is he still, Is he alive? still alive? alive? He was he when Olga brought him in. I've checked, checked everything, every including the genome, genome data, data, but there's nothing on this guy. NSA, CIA, FBI. He doesn't exist in any database. He's a non-existent operative from a non-existent organization. I suspected as much. However, I know this man. Hmm? Wake him up.
It's been a while, hasn't it? Jack the Ripper. You know this fellow? You remember me, don't you? You've grown. <laughs> High concentration of cerebral implants. Have they altered your memory, too? This is my son. I taught him everything. Jack, I never thought I'd see you again. You know me? You don't remember. Your name, your skills, everything you know, you learn from me. The 80s. The Civil War. You were one of the best among the child soldiers that fought in that conflict. When you were barely 10 years old, you became the platoon leader of the small boy unit. At the time, your outstanding kill record earned you several nicknames, including White Devil and Jack the Ripper. Jack, I was your godfather. I named you. When the war ended, you disappeared from the relief center. I wondered what happened to you. I should have known they would recruit you. It's an interesting coincidence. If he's a lackey for the Patriots, I doubt he knows anything of interest. What should we do with him? We'll use him like you suggested. What about Dead Cell? Ignore them. <laughs> Happening again? Could it be that he's here too? In another hour, we demonstrate the power of Arsenal gear. Attack with standard weapons, of course. Yes, proceed as planned. At last report, all is well with GW. Hmm. How about the troops? The men are being refitted with Arsenal gear equipment as ordered. You're the spitting image of Big Boss. <laughs> Is that so? Perhaps I should be grateful to this kid for that. This situation, I find it very nostalgic. Where? Am I? Why, inside Arsenal gear, of course. Actually, we're also inside the memory of Shadow Moses. I'll take this back. You don't need this anymore, do you? A foul wind is blowing. We shall speak again. Don't move. Stay as you are. We're being monitored by a camera. What are you up to? I'm switching over to nano communication. Mr. X? Ninja? Correct. It's me. I thought you were the leader of the Russian troops. No. That was just a smokescreen. A smokescreen? I was sent to provide you support. Support? Who sent you? The Colonel? No. The Patriots. What? I... I deceived my troops. Betrayed them. But why? My child is being held hostage by the Patriots. It all started two years ago when I lost my father during the tanker incident. My men and I had nowhere to go. So we joined forces with an illegal Russian organization. The Russian Mafia? Something like that. 
Actually, I learned much later that it was a subordinate organization of the Patriots. I was expecting at the time. When I gave birth to my child, it turned out I was in a hospital run by the Patriots. In the morning, my child was gone. My baby is being kept somewhere in this country. Have you ever met your child? No. Once a month, they send me a photo of my child via network. I've never even held the child in my own arms. I see. Given your situation, nobody can blame you for what you did. That's your opinion. What about Snake? I thought you were enemies. He wasn't responsible for my father's death. Actually, we owe him our lives. Two years ago, they were responsible for getting us out of the sinking tanker alive. So you were partners since the incident? No, I only found out the truth shortly before this. Huh? When I confronted him here. You fought with Snake? When? Well, it was around the time you were holding hands with that girl. Snake. So you joined hands with him to pay back a debt? No, mutual gain. Mutual gain? My job was to assist you. If Solidus gets away with Arsenal, your mission is a failure. The Patriots would judge that as failure on my part and terminate my child. Putting it simply, my child's life depends on your success. So you did it all for your child. But why would the Patriots want to help me? Are they hoping I'll take Solidus out? No, you're just like me. We're just pawns. Pawns for what purpose? The S3 plan. Huh? You'll figure it out sooner or later, but I wonder if you'll handle the truth. What do you mean? Listen, we haven't got time for this. Solidus will commence his attack any minute. He's got to be stopped. What about the virus? No results so far. I think the Patriots have tampered with the program. Will it work? I don't know. Get me out of this thing. Not yet. I'll release your restraints after I leave this room. Where's my gear? Snake's got everything. I couldn't bring it here. And where do I find Snake? The passageway ahead leads to a hangar. He'll be waiting there. I gave him a card key for the hangar. Does Snake plan to destroy Arsenal gear? No. Even for Snake, it's impossible to completely destroy this thing. The only option is to stop Solidus and his men. What are you going to do? Stay concealed. That's my role. I still can't afford to be discovered. Olga, you can't keep this up. They're bound to find you. Listen, I'll free you in a little while. Brace yourself. Ça va les mecs, je sais que la cinématique est très longue. Bah j'essaierai d'expliquer quelques trucs à la fin pour ceux qui ont vraiment rien compris. Attention parce que ça va continuer là. Soyez attentif. Jack, are you all right? Oh, uh, yeah. Jack, is it true what Solidus said? Yes. It's unbelievable. Drafting small children, sending them to war. It's not allowed under international conventions. ICC rules don't mean a lot in war. Someone told me that there are over 300,000 children in combat right now. I was just one of them. So you remember? I thought your memory had been manipulated by them. It was, but I have nightmares every day. Pieces of the past I can't put together. Why didn't you tell me? You couldn't begin to understand. You wouldn't know that until you try me. I didn't want you to get hurt. <sighs> there was never a real reason for me to fight, except that someone put a gun in my hand. And that someone was him. It wasn't your fault. If I survived the day's fight, I was praised, fed, and had a bed to sleep in. I think I was only six when I held my first AK, but I'm not even sure of that. Jack. I'm not like Snake. I never questioned why we fought. There was no purpose, no way out. They give you a gun, you ask how many to kill. If you didn't, 
You were the one they shot instead. It's okay. No one is blaming you. We were shown Hollywood action films every day. The kind with macho guys and big guns. They call it image training. Ugh. They... they built us from the ground up into killing machines. We were fed once a day. I can still taste the gunpowder they mixed into the food. Gunpowder? In the food? The gunpowder had toluene in it, giving it hallucinogenic properties. It kept us drugged, controllable. Oh my god! <sighs> when the Civil War ended, those of us who survived were taken in by NGOs. They gave me a new life in the States. I can't complain. But nothing's changed. The only people who have no problem with my past have secrets and agendas of their own. Terrible nightmares. Every night. I can never forget. Jack. I'm afraid of the night. That's why I don't sleep next to you. You should have told me. Told you what? That I'm a killer? And always have been? No. No. What I hate more than anything else in the world is my own past. I didn't want you or anyone to know about it. <laughs> now I know why I was chosen for this mission. No one can take him on, take him down, except me. I've been kept alive this long for this. I knew as soon as I saw Solidus. Jack, I love you the way you are now. You have to believe me. I didn't know anything about you, I admit that. Where you were born, how you grew up. But I know that now. And I know that what I feel for you can only get better. And I'll share in your past if that's the price. It doesn't work that way. No one can share the burden of what I've done. It's not one of those warm and fuzzy things couples share. I accept the good and the bad, Jack. That's what you do for someone you love. I don't want to share my past with anyone. I just want to forget about it. Jack, I haven't told you, you know, about what I've done. <sighs> the last two years with you, it's been more than I've ever hoped for. Jack. But I can't go any farther. I know you want to get married. I... But I can't. I can't risk starting a family. There's no way to erase my childhood. It's all right, Jack. Please, don't say any more. Normalement, ça devrait passer sur YouTube. <rire> Regardez la petite référence à Austin Powers. Euh... Je croyais qu'il y avait une torture supplémentaire avec Solidus, là. Je sais plus. Ma mémoire est floue. En tout cas, on n'est pas loin de la fin du jeu, les mecs, là. On approche dangereusement de la fin. On va le finir ce soir, hein, je vous le dis. Raiden, do you copy? You must continue your mission. I've lost all my gear. I need to locate Snake. He was never factored into the simulation. Leave him out of this. I can't do much naked. Especially in this temperature. That's true. You won't be able to attack or enter the hanging mode either. I think Snake has my gear. Raiden, take out Solidus and his men. You must recover Arsenal intact. Colonel, are you under orders from the Patriots? Your role, that is, mission, is to infiltrate the structure and disarm the terrorists. My role? Why do you keep saying that? Why not? This is a type of role-playing game. The point is that you play out your part, and I expect you to turn in a perfect performance. Colonel, I just remembered something. What? That I've never met you in person. Not 
once. Hmm. Complete your mission according to the simulation. Colonel, who are you? No more questions. We have Rosemary. What do you mean by that? Over and out. Bon là les gars, c'est euh, certainement une des parties les plus intéressantes du jeu. Donc je vais monter le son à fond. Parce que là, pour, pour ceux qui n'ont pas fait MGS2, vous allez vous dire mais qu'est-ce qui se passe What the fuck donc je veux vraiment que vous profitiez à fond de l'expérience sonore et de tous les dialogues qui vont suivre. Concentrez-vous bien parce que c'est extrêmement important. Et on se retrouve juste après. Raiden, turn the game console off right now. What did you say? The mission is a failure. Cut the power right now. What's wrong with you? Don't worry. It's a game. It's a game just like usual. You'll ruin your eyes playing so close to the TV. What are you talking about? Raiden, something happened to me last Thursday when I was driving home. I had a couple of miles to go. I looked up and saw a glowing orange object in the sky to the east. It was moving very irregularly. Suddenly, there was intense light all around me, and when I came to, I was home. What do you think happened to me? Huh? Fine. Forget it. Even my patience has its limits. I just can't leave this thing up to you any longer. I'll do the fighting. You can just go home. Oh! 
Even my patience has Honestly, though, you have played the game for a long time. Don't you have anything else to do with your time? Actually, there is something I have been meaning to tell you, but I just couldn't. I think you should know, though. On Saturday morning last week, I saw a guy leaving Rosemary's room. How should I put it? It was like they were... intimate. I'm sorry. Sorry to bring this up during the mission, but... President Baker should be somewhere to the south of where you blasted through the wall. Hurry and save him before the terrorists discover his code. Infiltrate the enemy fortress, Outer Heaven. Destroy the final weapon, Metal Gear. Snake, remember what de Gaulle said. The graveyards are full of indispensable men. Snake, you're all alone and surrounded by bad guys. Try to be careful and avoid getting into a fight whenever you can. You wouldn't be trying to give yourself a bogus score using some ingenious trick, would you? That's just about as low as anyone could possibly stoop. I can't believe you sometimes. Your mission is to infiltrate the Fortress Galluade, rescue the hostages, and neutralize Metal Gear before its assembly is complete. Variety Level 13. Rescue Meryl, the return of Ginola. <laughs> President Baker should be somewhere to the south of where you blasted through the wall. Hurry and save him before the terrorists discover his code. Your mission is to infill. Actually, there is something I... You wouldn't be trying to... Variety level. Actually, I'm in really bad shape financially. I pay money to my ex-wife as part of our divorce settlement, among other bills. I just had no choice but to make you pay for lunch the other day. I'm really sorry.
Your mission is to infiltrate the fortress. I hear it's amazing when the famous purple stuffed worm in Flapjaw space with the tuning fork does a raw blink on Harry Carey Rock. I need scissors. 61. I hear it's amazing when the famous purple stuffed worm in Flapjaw space with the tuning fork does a raw blink on Harry Carey Rock. I need scissors. 61. An anemone or clematis plant's juice can cause a rash. When pruning them, it's a good idea to wear gloves. Jack, it's me. Hi, Rose. Jack, I owe you an apology. If it's about that conversation just now, I'm the one who's sorry. No, it's something else. What is it? That day at Federal Hall two years ago, it wasn't a coincidence. I was ordered to keep an eye on you. Keep an eye on me? Yes, by the Patriots. You're a spy? I suppose. Yes, it's an ugly word. Are you still there? Was sleeping with me a part of the job? I fell in love with you. How could anyone? I can't excuse what I did. I've reported every detail of your personal life to them these two years. What you did, said, everything. Must have been fun. But some things I didn't tell anyone. Oh. Like what I felt for you. So that's why you were involved in this mission. I should have known. Why else would they toss an analyst into the mix at the last minute? I'm sorry. I know what I did was wrong. No matter where I go, I get used. I reinvented myself to suit your tastes. Hairstyle, clothes, the way I moved, things I talked about. You say you love the color of my hair, my eyes. They're not even real. You must have gone over my psych profile with a fine tooth comb. It was my job. Great performance. Had me completely fooled. What I really wanted was for you to see the real me. It hurt to play out this, this artificial romance. It was worse to lie to myself than to you. The more love you gave me, the more it hurt. Because I knew the person you loved was just a character. So it was artificial on my end too. It was just a game. Not the real thing. Oh, Jack. I feel better knowing that. What? I was in love, or thought I was, with someone who didn't exist. I was trying to be someone I wasn't by loving what wasn't real. I don't know who you really are. The person I knew isn't real. She's not the woman I'm talking to right now. In a sense, the deception was my own, not theirs. Jack, I thought I was acting because that was my job. But I did fall in love with you. That wasn't an act. You expect me to believe that? <sighs> it's okay. You had your reasons, right? Hey, I understand. But I have nothing left to... Jack! What? I'm... I'm carrying... I'm pregnant, Jack. Rose! What's going on? Amazing how you walk around like that. Snake! Been waiting long. <laughs> Where's my gear? Right over there.
That's more like it. Everything you had when you were captured is still there. Sorry about earlier. I had to use you as bait to gain access to Arsenal. It worked. Why didn't you tell me about Olga? You never asked. Ugh. Not happy about that? Get over it. Any effects of the virus yet? Still waiting on that. So, it was rigged by the Patriots? Looks like it. From what I can tell, Arsenal is headed for Manhattan. I don't know what Solidus is planning, but we'll have to deal with it one way or another. There's also a troop of production model rays ahead. How many units? 25, according to Olga. 25? Yeah. Can't say I've faced that many Metal Gears before, but I think we can deal. No way we can. We can, because we have no other choice. How? I've stocked up on Stinger missiles. Oh yeah, Olga left this for you. me to give it to you. Besides, I'm not a big fan of blades. Move the right analog stick up and down to make a vertical slice, and left and right to slice parallel to the ground. Move the stick in a circle to do a rotating cut. Push it forward to lunge and strike. You can guard with your blade if you have the L1 button pressed down. You should be able to deflect a bullet or two. Elle était énorme cette scène, absolument incroyable avec le colonel. Là on questionne la nature de la réalité, on se demande qu'est-ce qui est vrai, qu'est-ce qui est faux dans ce scénario. Et vous n'êtes pas au bout de vos surprises. Tra la première fois que je me suis retrouvé avec l'épée, j'étais trop en kiff. Putain, oh putain énorme On va tous les trucider ces enfoirés Parce que là, maintenant qu'on a les safe state, j'ai toujours rêvé de, de le trucider. Foiré Pardon, allez, on y va. On y va Come on, time to go. If you run out of ammo, you can have mine. You got enough? Absolutely. Infinite ammo. Wait up, Snake! What? Snake, have you ever enjoyed killing someone? What are you talking about? I'm not sure. Sometimes it's hard to tell the difference between reality and a game. Diminished sense of reality, huh? VR training will do that. No, it was field training when I was a kid. I lied, Snake. I have more field experience than I can remember. It's not VR that's doing this to me. Raiden, we don't carry guns to take people down. We're not here to help some politician either. You can say that because you're a legend, a hero. I'm Jack the Ripper, a dirty reminder of a terrible mistake. Legends don't mean a whole lot. I was just a name to exploit. Just like you. People will remember only the good part, the right part of what you did. There's no right part in murder. Not ever. And we're not in this to make a name for ourselves. Then what are you and Otacon fighting for? A future. You can stop being part of a mistake. Starting now. What am I? What am I supposed to do? Find something to believe in, and find it for yourself. And when you do, pass it on to the future. Believe in what? That's your problem. Come on.
Snake, Raiden. Otacon, you all right? Yeah, so are all the hostages. That's good news. How's everything on your end? All right for now, but there is something. What? The Colonel's last transmission was strange. Strange? How? Just strange. No idea. Interference? I don't know. Where is this Colonel? I don't know. I've never met the man, actually. I'll dig around. Thanks. I owe you one. If there's anything else, call me on the codec. I might be able to help. The frequency is 141.12. Bon là les mecs je vais laisser le son du jeu à fond encore une fois. Séquence de ouf. Allez. Raiden, about this colonel of yours. I found out where he is. Where? Inside Arsenal. What? I've checked out all the possibilities, but I keep coming back to Arsenal. It isn't a relay point, it's the origin of the signal. Hmm. And the encryption protocol it uses is exactly the same as that of Arsenal's AI, the so-called GW. What the hell does this mean? I think it means you've been talking to an AI. That's impossible. The Colonel probably isn't GW per se. GW was most likely stimulating cortical activity in the dormant part of your brain through signal manipulation of your own nanomachines. The Colonel is, in part, your own creation, cobbled together from expectations and experience. That's crazy! But it's probably the truth. The virus may be starting to affect GW, which would explain the Colonel's behavior. It was all an illusion? Everything I've done so far? Right. Snake, what's happening around here? I don't know. What I do know is that you're standing right here in front of me. Not an illusion. Flesh and blood. Huh? It's your call. You can drop this if you want. No, I can't do that. Let's go. Raiden, they've got Rose. What? Rose is being held in the holds. It's a trap. Help! Rose! Raiden, get a grip. But Snake, it's a trap. Since the Colonel doesn't exist, there's no way he can take Rose hostage. Yeah, you're right. I am right. Okay. Uh, does Rose exist? Don't be weird. She's your... What if I've never really met her? What? If the Colonel is something that I partly dreamt up, then everything I remember about her could be... Don't jump to conclusions. You and Otacon are the ones that say the Colonel never existed. Raiden! Is this what Olga was talking about? Uh, 
Je sais que vous avez certainement des questions pour ceux qui découvrent le jeu pour la première fois. En tout cas, vous avez compris que le colonel à qui on parlait depuis le début était en fait une intelligence artificielle et non le colonel de, de MGS1. Là, on parlait juste à une IA. Allez, c'est parti pour une autre grosse séquence là. Magnifique. Vous avez vu ce troll ultime du jeu et ils nous font croire qu'on a un game over là. <rire> C'est génial putain. Ago, you killed my father. That was the beginning of hell for us. Everyone I love has been taken from me one by one, and no matter how hard I try, I can't follow them. An endless nightmare. The only thing we live for is to see it end. Our wait is almost over. You can't be serious about firing the nuke. Since no one can kill me, I may as well kill everyone I can. Damn! Looks like I'm today's pick. You go on ahead. You want eternal rest? I've got it right here. What are you gonna do? Bullets can't get near her! I'll think of something. There's no such thing as a witch. You think you can kill me? I don't know what your group's been through, but let's get one thing clear. I didn't kill your father. Do you think anyone believes your lies? Raiden, get out of here!
Jack, I've been watching how you fight. It looks like you've remembered the way you used to kill in the old days. Or is it one of the S3 plan's proud achievements? What are you talking about? It came as a complete surprise when Ocelot discovered the S3 data from GW. Not a bad idea, though. Using fire to fight fire, creating the perfect assassin to retire Solid Snake's brother. S3 stands for Solid Snake Simulation. It's a development program to artificially reproduce Solid Snake, the perfect warrior. The result is a Foxhound Commando. When Foxhound no longer exists, a simulated Solid Snake shaped by VR regimen. Sound like someone you know? Jack. I'm sorry to see you reduced to one of the Patriot's puppets. But I've made use of you. And their plan, too. Solid Snake's sudden appearance, your arrival, it was obvious the Patriots were among my ranks. I had to smoke out the agent before the mission entered the final phase. You came in handy, as bait. Jack, those days during the Civil War were as real as they come. Every day was absolute, split between life and death. You ran from it. And now, you've been led back to war by something less than real. No more games, Raiden. At least you know. There's no reason to keep you alive now. the opponent at least but now you should die as the little jackie boy i once knew <laughs> On va se faire sur les trois métal virés. Je sais plus exactement comment on fait. Je crois qu'il faut commencer par les. Allez, ah, par comme ça. Allez, et devant.
Et là ça fait deux. Quelques peu imprudent. Ah merde. Bon. Je sais plus combien font. En... Combien faut en péter bon, En tout cas c'est bon, j'ai retrouvé la, la strat. Allez, on s'en sort pas mal. Pas mal. Beaucoup là. Il faut en péter combien Ça revient à l'infini. Je sais plus. C'est 3, 5 C'est bientôt fini.
Allez. Fini ou pas là Je me souviens pas qu'il y en avait autant les gars. Voilà, putain. Hold them off. Give you time to get away. What about you? <laughs> This is suicide! Your nanomachines, they're transmitting your vital signs to the Patriots. If you die, my child dies. You understand? The child. I see. So that's why you sold your troops out to me. So many dead, and they all died trusting you! Were they your comrades? No, not just comrades. Family! Huh? I know I'm going to help, but at least my child. I applaud your attitude. If you have a death, I'll be happy to accommodate you. See you in hell! Enjoy the show, Jack. Let's pick up where we left off. Hmm? What's going on? What's wrong with it? AI. GW, it's out of control. What? What happened? Maybe some kind of virus. The Patriots? I don't know. Ocelot, what have you been up to? It's too late. Arsenal system control is going haywire. It's on an emergency ascent course. Stupid machines!
tortured snake. Are you awake yet, Jack? <clears throat> GW, the Arsenal AI is corrupted beyond repair. I admit that I underestimated you. <clears throat> I'll squeeze the answers out of you instead, my son! <clears throat> It's not him I want the answers from. What do you mean? That's not your business. Oh, really? It so happens I have some business of my own to attend to. Planning to hijack Arsenal? Huh? You were going to screw me over, weren't you? Who talked? Ocelot? Not exactly. I was the one who used Ocelot to suggest the idea to you in the first place. What? I was planning to give you Arsenal to begin with. Why the uncharacteristic generosity? <laughs> I'm no philanthropist. Arsenal is far from impregnable. It needs other Metal Gears as guards, a huge payload of warheads, and full air, sea, and land support to function efficiently. Against a large attack force without support, Arsenal is nothing more than a gigantic coffin. Seizing Arsenal gear was never the real objective. What was your objective then? A list of names of the Patriots! <gasps> they were planning to extend their control to digital information flow with GW and Arsenal. That means the information they want to filter out is contained in GW. Including that list of the highest 12 members of the Patriots Wiseman's Committee. And once you knew who they were, you would cross out their names one by one. While we, with our useless arsenal, drew their fire. Very good. You were using us all along. Were you any different? But your plans hit a snag with GW destroyed, hasn't it? No, there is another way. Really? But we have our own plans to carry out. We'll take the arsenal since you don't care for it anyway. The purified hydrogen bomb is ready to go. A nuclear strike won't stop them. It will damage their power source. The mindless masses that they control. First things first. Of course. That was what you wanted. I won't stop you. Good luck. Thanks, but I have quite enough of that. <laughs> What exactly do you find so funny? Charades usually are humorous. I wouldn't have minded watching some more of it, but we're running a little short on time. What are you talking about? Everything you've done here has been scripted. A little exercise set up by us. Exercise? The S3 plan was conceived as a means to reduce soldiers on par with Solid Snake. That's what I told you. But the VR training the boy was put through is not the meat of the project. You think this little terrorist incident is your own doing, Solidus? This is the S3 training, Colonel. 
an orchestrated recreation of Shadow Moses. What? Ames and the President's deaths. The ninja. The computer virus that mimics Fox die. Did you really think they were all a coincidence? Ames' own nanomachines were used to shut down his pacemaker. I arranged for the appearance of the ninja as well. As for the president, although Johnson realized what was going on, he played out his allotted part. As for the computer virus, it's a digital counterpart of Fox Tie. It was also designed to eliminate every scrap of information regarding the Patriots from GW. Your plan was invalidated even before execution, Solidus. Fat Man was a different story. He's one of our own people. A sort of examiner we hired to test the boy's progress before letting him tackle the exercise proper. We had to arrange for Stillman's presence to coax the maniac into agreeing. If the boy had allowed the big shell to be destroyed, this exercise would have ended there. The project has no room for failures. What do you mean? Given the right situation, the right story, anyone can be shaped into Snake. Even rookies can fight like men of experience. An instant creation of genius! And this training kernel will provide more than enough data to formulate such a program. You, Dead Cell, Olga, you're all nothing but pawns placed to create the perfect simulation. Solidus. You and the boy were selected because your relationship resembles the one between Snake and Big Boss. Fortune, you and the rest of Dead Cell stand in for the Foxhound squad that Snake took on in Shadow Moses. You're the most impressive collection of freaks outside of Foxhound. We've gone to a lot of trouble to set you up against the boy. That story about purified hydrogen bombs is just the tip of the iceberg. The project was already underway when I sunk that tanker, along with your old man two years ago. Throwing your husband in the brig was a part of it, too. You were told that the eradication of Dead Cell six months ago was an act of the Patriots. We provoked and encouraged your hatred. And you opted for vengeance, just as we planned. All orchestrated? Except for the appearance of the real Solid Snake. I wonder now who sent for you. All our misfortune was just a part of your project? Nothing that we didn't give you. What? Do you know why no bullet could hit you? It wasn't magic, or some new age mumbo jumbo. Certainly wasn't your psychic talents. It was all staged by the Patriots. Staged. You were being shielded by the electromagnetic weapons technology that the Patriots developed. Your dead cell comrades loved your father and husband. We needed a pathetic wretch like you to keep them focused. You've been our puppet all along, just like Olga. No! 
You were hamming it up as the tragic heroine, thanks to the script that the Patriots wrote for you. Pure self-indulgence, absorbed in your own misfortune. You couldn't get enough of the drama. I could have died whenever I wanted to. Hmm, thought I got her in the heart. It missed. Now I remember. Your heart's on the right. Waste of metal, my dear, but your luck's run out. This is the little gizmo. There's no such thing as miracles or the supernatural. Only cutting-edge technology. Retrieve Arsenal and clean up the refuse from the exercise. Just try.
been waiting for this. It can't be. I've been inside this arm all along, waiting for the right time to awaken. You were inside Ocelot? Yes, a sleeper in the arm of a Patriot spy. It was you two years ago? Exactly. I was controlling him. Snake, it was I that leaked information about Arsenal to your partner and got you out here. What? You're the only one that can free me. After all... I'm off to bury the Patriots for good. You know where they are? How? Why do you think I chose Ocelot as my host? But before I go, I have a family matter to settle with both of you. There's room for only one snake, and one big boss. Time to say goodbye! Damn! Washington took office as the first president of the United States of America 200 years ago today. And it happened right here. We were going to declare another independence. The dawn of a new nation here. The end of the Patriots' secret rule. Liberation of this country. This was where it was supposed to begin. This is where freedom could have been born. All you want is power at any cost. Jack, it's not power I want. What I wanted to take back from the Patriots are things like freedom, civil rights, opportunities. The founding principles of this country. Everything 
that's about to be wiped out by their digital censorship. Jack, listen to me. We're all born with an expiration date. No one lasts forever. Life is nothing but a grace period for turning the best of our genetic material into the next generation. The data of life is transferred from parent to child. That's how it works. But we have no heirs, no legacy. We brothers are called Les Enfants Terribles. Cloned from our father with the ability to reproduce conveniently engineered out. What is our legacy if we cannot pass the torch? Proof of our existence, a mark of some sort. When the torch is passed on from parent to child, it extends beyond DNA. Information is imparted as well. All I want is to be remembered by other people, by history. The Patriots are trying to protect their power, their own interests, by controlling the digital flow of information. I want my memory, my existence to remain. Unlike an intron of history, I will be remembered as an exon. That will be my legacy, my mark in history. But the Patriots would deny us even that. I will triumph over the Patriots and liberate us all, and we will become the Sons of Liberty! Raiden, are you receiving? We're still here. How is that possible? The AI was destroyed! Only GW. Who are you? To begin with, we're not what you'd call human. Over the past 200 years, a kind of consciousness formed layer by layer in the crucible of the White House. It's not unlike the way life started in the oceans four billion years ago. The White House was our primordial soup, a base of evolution. We are formless. We are the very discipline and morality that Americans invoke so often. How can anyone hope to eliminate us? As long as this nation exists, so will we. Cut the crap! If you're immortal, why would you take away individual freedoms and censor the net? <laughs> Jack, don't be silly. Don't you know that our plans have your interests, not ours, in mind? What? Jack, listen carefully, like a good boy. The mapping of the human genome was completed early this century. As a result, the evolutionary log of the human race lay open to us. We started with genetic engineering, and in the end, we succeeded in digitizing life itself. But there are things not covered by genetic information. What do you mean? Human memories, ideas, culture, history. Genes don't contain any record of human history. Is it something that should not be passed on? Should that information be left at the mercy of nature? We've always kept records of our lives, through words, pictures, symbols, from tablets to books. But not all the information was inherited by later generations. A small percentage of the whole was selected and processed, then passed on. Not unlike genes, really. That's what history is, Jack. But in the current digitized world, trivial information is accumulating every second, preserved in all its triteness. Never fading, always accessible. Rumors about petty issues, misinterpretation, slander. All of this junk data, preserved in an unfiltered state, growing at an alarming rate. It will only slow down social progress, reduce the rate of evolution. Right. You seem to think that our plan is one of censorship. Are you telling me it's not? You're being silly. What we propose to do is not to control content, but to create context. Create context? The digital society furthers human flaws and selectively rewards development of convenient half-truths. Just look at the strange juxtapositions of morality around you. Billions spent on new weapons in order to humanely murder other humans. Rights of criminals are given more respect than the privacy of their victims. Although there are 
people suffering in poverty, huge donations are made to protect endangered species. Everyone grows up being told the same thing. Be nice to other people. But beat out the competition. You're special. Believe in yourself and you will succeed. But it's obvious from the start that only a few can succeed. You exercise your right to freedom, and this is the result. All rhetoric to avoid conflict and protect each other from hurt. The untested truths spun by different interests continue to churn and accumulate in the sandbox of political correctness and value systems. Everyone withdraws into their own small gated community afraid of a larger forum. They stay inside their little ponds, leaking whatever truth suits them into the growing cesspool of society at large. The different cardinal truths neither clash nor mesh. No one is invalidated, but nobody is right. Not even natural selection can take place here. The world is being engulfed in truth. And this is the way the world ends. Not with a bang, but a whimper. We're trying to stop that from happening. It's our responsibility as rulers. Just as in genetics, unnecessary information and memory must be filtered out to stimulate the evolution of the species. And you think you're qualified to decide what's necessary and not? Absolutely. Who else could wade through the sea of garbage you people produce, retrieve valuable truths, and even interpret their meaning for later generations? That's what it means to create context. I'll decide for myself what to believe and what to pass on. But is that even your own idea? Or something Snake told you? Uh, that's the proof of your incompetence right there. You lack the qualifications to exercise free will. That's not true. I have the right. Does something like a self exist inside of you? That which you call self serves as nothing more than a mask to cover your own being. In this era of ready-made truths, self is just something used to preserve those positive emotions that you occasionally feel. Another possibility is that self is a concept you conveniently borrowed under the logic that would endow you with some sense of strength. That's crap! Is it? Would you prefer that someone else tell you? All right, then. Explain it to him. Jack, you're simply the best, and you got there all by yourself. <sighs> oh, what happened? Do you feel lost? Why not try a bit of soul-searching? Don't think you'll find anything, though. Ironic that although self is something that you yourself fashion, every time something goes wrong, you turn around and place the blame on something else. It's not my fault. It's not your fault. In denial, you simply resort to looking for another, more convenient truth in order to make yourself feel better. Leaving behind in an instant the so-called truth you once embraced. Should someone like that be able to decide what is truth? Should someone like you even have the right to decide? You've done nothing but abuse your freedom. You don't deserve to be free. We're not the ones smothering the world. You are. The individual is supposed to be weak, but far from powerless. A single person has the potential to ruin the world. And the age of digitized communication has given even more power to the individual. Too much power for an immature species. Building a legacy involves figuring out what is wanted and what needs to be done for that goal. All this you used to struggle with. Now we think for you. We are your guardians after all. You want to control human thought? Human behavior? Of course. Anything can be quantified nowadays. That's what this exercise was designed to prove. You fell in love with me just as you were meant to, after all. Isn't that right, Jack? Ocelot was not told the whole truth, to say the least. We rule an entire nation. Of what interest would a single soldier, no matter how able, be to us? The S3 plan does not stand for solid snake simulation. What it does stand for is Selection for Societal Sanity. The S3 is a system for controlling human will and consciousness. S3 is not you, a soldier trained in the image of Solid Snake.
It is a method, a protocol that created a circumstance that made you what you are. So you see, we're the S3, not you. What you experienced was the final test of its effectiveness. That's crazy. You heard what President Johnson said. The Arsenal's GW system is the key to their supremacy. The objective of this exercise was to establish such a method. We used Shadow Moses as a paradigm for the exercise. I wonder if you would have preferred a fantasy setting. <laughs> we chose that backdrop because of its extreme circumstances. It was an optimal test for S3's crisis management capacity. If the model could trigger, control, and solve this, it would be ready for any contingency. And now, we have our proof. Raiden, there are also reasons behind your selection. Solidus raised plenty of other child soldiers. Do you know why we chose you over them? Hmm. It was because you were the only one who refused to acknowledge the past. All the others remember what they were and pay for it daily. But you turn your back on everything you don't like. You do whatever you like, see only the things you like, and for yourself alone. Yes, Rose can attest to that. You refused to see me for what I was. I lied to you, but I wanted to be caught. You pretended to be understanding, to be a gentleman. You never made a conscious attempt to reach out to me. The only time you did was when I gave you no choice but to do so. I was just trying not to. What? Trying not to hurt me? Dear, the one you were trying not to hurt was yourself. Avoiding the truth under the guise of kindness is all that you did. It occurred to you to do nothing but look out for yourself. Even if you claim that it was for my sake, that feeling was nowhere to be seen. In the end, everything was for your sake. I was never part of the picture. <laughs> exactly right. So you see, you're a perfect representative of the masses we need to protect. This is why we chose you. You accepted the fiction we've provided, obeyed our orders, and did everything you were told to. The exercise is a resounding success. Didn't I tell you that GW was still incomplete? But not anymore, thanks to you. Your persona, experiences, triumphs, and defeats are nothing but byproducts. The real objective was ensuring that we could generate and manipulate them. It's taken a lot of time and money, but it was well worth it considering the results. I think that's enough talk. It's time for the final exercise. Raiden, take Solidus down. Think again. I'm through doing what I'm told. Oh, really? Aren't you forgetting something? If you die, my child dies. The termination of vital signals from your nanomachines means the death of Olga's child. Not to mention the death of Rose. She's wired the same way. Rose, does she actually exist? Of course I do, Jack. You have to believe me. Damn! It will be a fight to the death. Solidus at least wants you dead. We will collect the necessary data from this last fight. Then we'll consider the exercise closed. So, Jack the Ripper, will it be Solidus, the Patriot's creation, or you, Solidus's creation? Our beloved monsters, enjoy yourselves. Jack, my son. My clone brothers and I are called monsters, replicates of evil genes. You are one of a kind, but still a monster, shaped by a dark and secret history. We need to decide which monstrosity will have the privilege of survival. By the way, Jack, I was the one who killed your parents.
I claimed you for my own and raised you as a soldier in the army of the devil. I am your foster father and your worst enemy. Why? Because I needed to know whether we were really someone else's creation. We're repeating history, Jack. Liquid and Solid hunted down Big Boss, trying to sever the tie that bound them to him. Unless you kill me and face your past, Jack, you will never escape. You'll stay in the endless loop, your own double helix. It's time we were both free. I have other reasons for wanting you dead. The clues to the Patriots inside GW have been erased, but there are other traces. Inside you. What? The information is being carried by the nanomachines in your cerebral cortex and throughout the neural network they formed. Bon, j'espère que vous avez réussi à suivre un petit peu le scénario. Mais, euh... non, incroyable, incroyable. Encore une fois, le jeu à 20 ans, euh... Putain, quand ils ont parlé de liberté individuelle, là, qui sont de plus en plus supprimées. Euh... Enfin, regardez ce qui se passe sur les réseaux sociaux depuis deux ans, tout, quoi, tout, tout était là. 20 ans d'avance sur le monde, ce jeu, c'est incroyable. Putain de chef d'oeuvre. Bon, allez, on va massacrer Solidus, c'est parti je sais plus du tout comment on fait. C'est à peu près comme ça. C'est vraiment le meilleur boss fight sur. Hein. Ah, y'a même les menottes là au poignet, j'ai même pas fait gaffe. Ah, le boss c'est pas facile. On va y arriver, ne vous inquiétez pas. Ça va le faire. Ça prendra peut-être un deuxième try, je sais pas. Oh merde, quel est con. 
Allez, need life, ça devrait le faire. Ah, first try, c'est beau. Allez, enjoy la fin, les mecs. On parle après. who or what they are. The memories you have and the role you were assigned are burdens you had to carry. It doesn't matter if they were real or not. That's never the point. There's no such thing in the world as absolute reality. Most of what they call real is actually fiction. 
What you think you see is only as real as your brain tells you it is. Then, what am I supposed to believe in? What am I going to leave behind when I'm through? We can tell other people about having faith. What we had faith in. What we found important enough to fight for. It's not whether you are right or wrong, but how much faith you are willing to have. That decides the future. The Patriots are a kind of ongoing fiction too, come to think of it. Mm -hmm. Listen, don't obsess over words so much. Find the meaning behind the words, then decide. You can find your own name. And your own future. Decide for myself? And whatever you choose will be you. I don't know if I can. I know you didn't have much in terms of choices this time. But everything you felt, thought about during this mission is yours. And what you decide to do with them is your choice. You mean start over? Yeah, a clean slate, a new name, new memories. Hmm. Choose your own legacy. It's for you to decide. It's up to you. By the way, what is that? Dog tags. Anyone you know? No, never heard the name before. I'll pick my own name, and my own life. I'll find something worth passing on. They taught me some good things, too. I know. We've inherited freedom from all of those who fought for it. We all have the freedom to spread the word, even me. Snake, what about Olga's child? Don't worry. I'll find him. Count on it. As long as you keep yourself alive, he's safe. Do you know where Liquid went? I put a transmitter on his ray. Did he head for the Patriots? Yeah, but I have a feeling they gave Ocelot a bogus location to begin with. Hmm. Cheer up. We have a better lead. This contains the list of all the Patriots. But Ocelot took it. The one we gave you wasn't the real thing. What? This virus is coded to destroy only a specific part of GW, namely the information about the Patriots' identity. Which means that there's a parameter coded in here that defines what that information is. I get it. Analyze the code and you can probably find out where they operate. Count me in. No, you have things to do first. And people you need to talk to. something? Who am I, really? I wouldn't know. But we're going to find out together, aren't we? Oh. Yeah. C 
See me for what I am, okay? I know. Do you remember this place? Of course. This is where we first met. I remember now. Mm -hmm. Today is the day I met you. <laughs> That's it. I think I found something to pass along to the future. What? He said all living things want their genes to live on. Are you talking about the baby? Yeah. The genes aren't the only thing you pass on. There are too many things that aren't written into our DNA. It's up to us to teach that to our children. What kind of things? About the environment, our ideas, our culture, poetry. Sorrow, joy. We'll tell them everything together. Is that a proposal? This is for your ears.
Life isn't just about passing on your genes. We can leave behind much more than just DNA. Through speech, music, literature and movies, what we've seen, heard, felt, anger, joy and sorrow. These are the things I will pass on. That's what I live for. We need to pass the torch and let our children read our messy and sad history by its light. We have all the magic of the digital age to do that with. The human race will probably come to an end sometime and new species may rule over this planet. Earth may not be forever, but we still have the responsibility to leave what traces of life we can Building the future and keeping the past alive are one and the same thing.
Snake, you there? It's me. I've finished going over that disc. Did you find the Patriot's list? Of course. It contains the personal data of 12 people. There was a name on it. Snake, it was one of our biggest contributors. What's going on around here? I don't know. Anyway, where are they? Well, we were right about them being on Manhattan, but... But what? They're already dead. All 12 of them. When did it happen? Well, uh, about a hundred years ago. What the hell? Ainsi se conclut ce playthrough de Metal Gear Solid 2 Sons of Liberty, messieurs, dames. Bon, j'espère que ça vous a plu, surtout pour ceux qui ne connaissaient pas le jeu. Euh, j'espère que vous avez à peu près compris l'histoire. Là, vraiment, en le refaisant, euh, c'est plus que jamais d'actualité, le jeu. Je l'ai fait il y a 20 ans. Et il me parle plus que jamais, euh, bah, notamment avec euh, le dernier appel du colonel et de Rose en mode intelligence artificielle. Euh, ce que dit euh, Emma également, euh, le questionnement sur euh, la nature de la réalité. Il y, y a un seul truc que je trouve dommage finalement à la revoyure. Enfin, euh, il y, y a plusieurs trucs. En fait, c'est par rapport à la scène de fin. La scène de fin, elle aurait dû rester sur une note mystérieuse, un petit peu d'ailleurs comme la fin de Phantom Pain. Parce qu'après, vous savez qu'il y a eu un roman écrit par Nojima pour Phantom Pain qui... Pff, Enfin pour moi qui est hyper décevant, qui correspond pas du tout à, à la vibe du jeu, à ce, à ce que, à ce que moi j'ai pu ressentir. Pour moi il faut rester sur une touche de mystère et de subtilité. Et la fin qu'on voit euh, dans MGS2, c'est très mystérieux. En fait Snake, euh, juste avant qu'on le revoie à la fin, on l'avait vu sauter euh, de la plateforme pour poursuivre euh, Liquid Oslot. Et puis à la fin comme de par magie il se retrouve avec nous à New York, pas de problème. Il y a Vamp qu'on peut apercevoir dans le background. Et puis Rose, on doute pendant toute l'aventure, enfin en tout cas vers la fin, on doute. Est-ce que c'était pas juste euh, depuis le début une IA Est-ce qu'elle existe vraiment Et quand bien même elle existe, elle devrait pas du coup avoir euh, un quelconque rapport. Elle devrait pas être au courant des choses que nous a dit cette IA durant l'aventure. Sauf qu'en fait, après il l'avait expliqué, Rose, elle est en mode IA seulement vers la fin. En fait, euh, vous voyez, quand on est à poil à, à la fin du tunnel, on reçoit un appel. Là, je crois que c'est la rose en mode IA. Et le tout dernier appel, juste avant qu'on se batte contre Solidus, là encore, c'est rose en mode IA. Mais apparemment, tout le reste de l'aventure, c'était bien la vraie rose qu'on voit à la fin, du coup. Et, et du coup, je trouve ça con qu'il l'ait expliqué, parce que je trouve que la fin, tu peux te dire que c'est Raiden qui imagine plein de choses. Enfin, c'est sujet à interprétation. Tu vois, on pourrait se dire qu'est-ce que fout Solid Snake ici, qu'est-ce que fout Vamp ici, qu'est-ce que fout Rose ici, peut-être que tout ça c'est dans l'imagination de Raiden. Tu vois, c'est un questionnement sur la réalité finalement ce jeu, en, en grande partie. Puis après, tu as tout le discours sur, euh, sur euh, le traitement de l'information, sur euh, les données numériques, comment euh, que, quelles, quelles informations on va retenir pour transmettre à la jeune génération quelles informations vont être effacées, supprimées. Et ça, c'est pas nouveau, finalement. Les vainqueurs font l'histoire et réécrivent l'histoire. L'interprète à leur sauce. Euh, quand vos parents vont pas vous transmettre l'intégralité de leur patrimoine génétique, bah, c'est la même chose pour les informations. On peut pas savoir à coup sûr ce qui s'est passé il y a ne serait-ce que euh, 5000 ans, 10 000 ans. Et ça, c'est encore récent, finalement, par rapport à l'échelle de par rapport à l'âge de la Terre, qui a 4,5 milliards d'années, finalement, ne serait-ce qu'à 5000 ans, on n'est pas sûr à 100% de tout. On se réfère à certains livres d'histoire, à des peintures dans des grottes, etc. En fait, on se réfère à ce qui nous a été légué par nos ancêtres. Mais euh, parfois, ça a très bien pu être complètement déformé. Et alors là, plus que jamais avec l'avènement du numérique, euh, l'information est extrêmement contrôlée. Il y a de la censure, enfin vous avez vu, moi vraiment ça m'a sauté à la gueule il y a deux ans. C'est ces deux dernières années qui m'ont vraiment réveillé euh, sur plein de choses. Je crois que j'étais vachement plus naïf avant euh, 2020. Bref, donc c'est un jeu extrêmement profond sur le scénario. La mise en scène, euh, bah, en fait en, en refaisant le jeu là je me dis putain en fait il n'y a pas un équivalent en mise en scène classique. Donc là j'exclus les dernières productions de Kojima encore une fois avec les plans séquences. Mais en mise en scène classique, il n'y a pas d'équivalent. Il n'y a jamais eu un jeu pour moi qui a été euh, qui a surpassé MGS2 en termes de réalisation, y compris MGS3, MGS4 et compagnie. Et Phantom Pain, je le mets à part parce que là c'est du 
très très beau travail, mais c'est un autre style de rien. La bande son exceptionnelle, je trouve que le thème de fin est, est génial. Euh, toute la bande son composée par Agrexon William, c'est magnifique. Le gameplay, c'est une tuerie, l'interaction pour l'époque, c'est fou. Enfin, tout est dingue dans le jeu. Et non, là, vraiment, je confirme, je le préfère vraiment largement au premier. Le MGS, c'est plus culte, on va dire. Le premier MGS, c'est plus culte. C'est non-stop, le rythme ultra maîtrisé. C'est vrai que là, il y a des longueurs dans le 2. Des fois, on se dit, putain, ça traîne en longueur. Il y a beaucoup de face codec, beaucoup de cinématiques. Et finalement, on joue pas tellement. Hein. Mais c'est tellement euh, novateur, profond. Et 20 ans après, ça reste toujours aussi vrai, plus pertinent que jamais. Que ça force le respect. Moi, je vois pas d'autres jeux comme ça. Il n'y a aucun jeu pour moi comme ça qui a, qui a tout pété à tous les niveaux et qui est encore pertinent en 2022, à ce point. Euh... Voilà ce que je peux dire, les gars. Non, j'ai repris une baffe en le faisant, vraiment. Bon, dommage pour les problèmes d'émulation, là, avec euh, bon, mon PC qui a planté, mais surtout les problèmes de texture, parce que là, le liquide slot à la fin était black. Bon. Mais globalement, je suis content d'avoir pu vous le streamer en entier. Puis on l'a fait euh, en 12h, un truc comme ça, c'est ça Ah, le jeu m'indique 9h45. Ah, c'est vrai qu'on a fait une pause d'une heure, remarquez. On va dire qu'on l'a fait en 10-11h, c'est pas mal. Est-ce que vous avez quelques questions, les gars, pour la fin Est-ce que je vais pas trop tarder à couper J'ai vraiment peur que le PC plante. Donc si vous avez quelques questions sur le scénario, c'est maintenant. Euh, Est-ce que vous avez apprécié ce jeu pour ceux qui ne connaissaient pas est-ce que ça vous a donné envie de le faire manette en main avec le gameplay qui est, qui est dingue pour moi, qui n'a pas vieilli, qui est toujours euh, génial Le 3, on le fera la semaine prochaine. Je pense qu'on se fera le 3 le week-end prochain. Parce qu'il est un peu plus long encore. Je crois, je crois que c'est bien 15h le 3, non Euh, le diagnostic euh, que fait l'IA sur Raiden, sur leurs faiblesses, etc. Mais je trouve que ça peut viser pas mal de personnes. Pareil pour ce que dit Rose à Raiden euh, quand, quand c'est l'IA qui parle. Quand elle lui dit qu'il euh, s'est jamais vraiment soucié d'elle, qu'il s'intéresse qu'à lui, etc. Je pense que ça, ça vise quasiment tout le monde. On est très individualiste plus que jamais. Ah oui, j'ai fait tous les rangs au maximum sur tous les MGS dans le passé. Et Metal Gear Solid 2, c'est simple, quand je l'ai eu, je l'ai fini, je vous dis, en même pas un week-end, puis après je l'ai torché dans tous les sens. Ce jeu, j'y ai joué pendant des mois. Hein. J'ai fait toute la collecte de Doctag, le mode européen extrême, la totale. Et vous êtes encore vachement nombreux quand même. À Pépin le Ruff, tu dis la fin c'est le fruit de l'imaginaire de Raiden, il a vraiment existé. Et c'est comme ça pour moi qu'il qu qu faudrait l'interpréter, c'est plus intéressant. Le problème c'est que... Euh... Après le truc c'est que je vais à moitié vous spoiler. En tout cas ils ont euh, confirmé que la fin était canonique, que les personnages sont bien là. Euh, que Rose est en mode IA seulement à la toute fin du jeu. Ce que je trouve un peu dommage. Euh... Mais après en fait... Si vous voulez, en fait, à l'époque, MGS2, on n'était pas sans savoir de suite. C'était censé être le dernier Metal Gear Solid. Kojima avait dit à l'époque que ça serait vraiment le dernier. Finalement, euh, un ou deux ans après, on a eu l'annonce euh, lors d'un E3 de Metal Gear Solid 3, mais qui était une préquelle, où on incarne Big Boss. Et pendant des années, euh, en fait, entre 2002 et 2008, date où est sorti MGS4, on s'est dit on n'aura jamais la suite d'MGS2. Tout, tout ça s'était resté en suspens. Et MGS4, donc, c'est la suite directe d'MGS2. Et il y a beaucoup de choses qui sont très décevantes par rapport au lore. Euh, et je pense que c'est dû en grande partie à l'absence de Tomokazu Fukushima. Après, c'est un jeu du lore, MGS4. C'est un jeu qui essaie vraiment de raccorder euh, tous les ponts. Parce que le truc, c'est que MGS2 est très mystique. C'est vraiment un questionnement sur la réalité. Enfin, c'est très philosophique. Et le 4 veut revenir euh, plus terre à terre. Et vraiment euh, faire en sorte que toute la saga soit bien canonisée. Que tout ce qu'on a vu a bien existé. Et je vais pas en dire plus pour le moment pour pas vous spoiler parce que peut-être que je vais vous le faire en playthrough parce qu'après ça reste quand même un très très bon jeu MGS4. Mais par rapport au lore d'MGS2, c'est un peu compliqué. On pourrait dire qu'il le piétine un peu. En fait pour moi MGS4 il piétine un peu ce qu'est MGS2. En fait MGS2 n'appelait pas de suite. Ça aurait dû être le dernier. Enfin pas forcément le dernier mais en tout cas 
Il a plaît aucune suite, limite. Tel que c'est construit à la fin, pour moi, faut pas de suite. Ou alors, faut le faire, mais pas comme ça a été fait avec le 4. Ouais, le 3 est plus loin, hein, c'est bien ce dont je me souvenais. En plus, il y a les Kérotan, on va essayer d'en choper quelques-uns quand même. BXT, tu t'es reconnu. Ouais, bah après, c'est un portrait général de, de la société, hein, à la fin de ce qui est dit. C'est fait pour que le plus grand nombre de personnes euh, se reconnaissent. De toute façon, Raiden, c'est censé être l'avatar du joueur. Faut qu'un maximum de monde puisse se reconnaître. Il a très peu d'aspérité. Euh, il, a, il, a, il a aucune conviction, en fait. Il se pose énormément de questions. Et même à la fin, euh, Snake lui dit un truc. Et euh, à la fin, il a lui faire marquer que ce qu'il répète, euh, c'est Snake qui lui a dit. Ce jeu ne pourrait pas sortir aujourd'hui. Je sais pas. Certains trucs peut-être pourraient pas sortir. Après, je sais pas. Je pense que ça pourrait quand même sortir sur... Le... Mais ça serait... Du coup... Si, ça serait toujours très intéressant. Mais je trouve ça encore plus fort qu'ils soient sortis il y a 20 ans. Que qu'ils aient réussi à être visionnaires à ce point-là, c'est fou. Tant qu'ils font pas de parallèle direct avec la situation qu'on connaît depuis deux ans, je pense que ça pourrait passer. Je pense par contre que le jeu serait écrit de manière un peu plus subversive si c'était exactement la même team qui faisait le jeu actuellement. Et peut-être qu'il glisserait quelques pics euh, sur les deux dernières années. Une redécouverte encore plus prenante de l'actualité. Ouais Thomas, puis je pense qu'on a vieilli aussi, euh, on voit les choses différemment. Ceux qui l'ont fait à l'époque et qui l'ont revu là euh, ce soir, on voit les choses différemment avec le temps. À l'époque, quand j'ai fait MGS2, j'avais 16 ans. Euh, puis je vous dis, c'était les débuts d'Internet. Je, je voyais pas le jeu comme ça. Hein. Je voyais très différemment. Je, je sentais que c'était un très grand jeu parce que la réa, le gameplay, etc. Puis le scénario aussi. En fait, ce qui est dingue, c'est qu'à l'époque, ce qui m'intéressait plus, c'était le lore, les personnages. Et ça, c'est le truc sur lequel Kojima est très fort. Par contre, le, le discours sur... Euh, sur internet, sur les informations, le traitement de l'information, le questionnement de la réalité, etc. Ça me touchait moins que, que les persos. Et maintenant, c'est totalement l'inverse. Limite, en fait, je m'en fous des persos. là. C'est pas important. Ce qui est intéressant, c'est le discours de fond. C'est tout ce qui t'explique euh, dans les phases codex. C'est ce que dit le personnage d'Emma. C'est le... bah, c'est toute la fin du jeu. quoi. Les deux dernières heures sont dingues. Je mets de côté après parce qu'il y, y a des trucs. Autant la mise en scène, elle est incroyable. Autant il y a des choses qui ont euh, mal vieilli, mais après c'est fait un peu exprès. Quand Fortune dévie les balles à la fin alors qu'elle a plus son device, c'est justement tu vois, pour ajouter un peu de mystique, pour que tu questionnes la, la réalité des événements. Euh, mais si tu le prends vraiment au pied de la lettre, ça paraît comme un pur nanar. Et, et limite pour moi, c'est pas les scènes les plus intéressantes. Tu vois, toutes les scènes avec le ninja, euh, la fin avec les Metal Gear Ray, euh, tous ces trucs-là, vamp, euh, tout ça, en fait, on s'en fout un peu. Ce qui est intéressant, c'est le discours, c'est les propos. Alors qu'à l'époque, euh, les personnages m'intéressaient beaucoup. C'est marrant. Oui, prends l'âge des collections sur 360, Vince. Tu regretteras pas. C'est un peu les jeux, le jeu de votre chaîne, les mecs, ça bute de faire des lives de ce soft encore maintenant. Mais, mais ça faisait longtemps que vous me demandez de faire un marathon MGS. Souvent, je me suis dit, ça sert à rien parce que j'ai déjà fait la rétrospective Metal Gear Solid où j'ai dit euh, tout mon ressenti. Mais finalement, le fait de refaire les jeux comme ça en intégral, déjà, ça peut présenter euh, l'intégralité du scénario à quelqu'un qui a vraiment pas envie d'y jouer ou qui a pas la plateforme, qui peut pas l'émuler. Puis après, ça permet de refaire un petit bilan avec vous. Et, et puis du coup je pense qu'il faudra vraiment faire une émission avec l'équipe à part euh, mes limites, il faudrait la consacrer à MGS2 tellement il y a de choses à dire parce que c'est vraiment le jeu le plus riche de la saga, enfin c'est celui qui reste le plus pertinent à l'heure actuelle parce que le, le 3 vous verrez, le 3 c'est beaucoup plus euh, hollywoodien, parce que c'est marrant à l'époque les gens disaient qu'MGS2 c'était hollywoodien euh, à fond en fait oui si tu regardes certaines scènes comme à la fin justement la scène avec Fortune les Metal Gear et compagnie d'accord mais le... enfin le discours, c'est totalement anti-hollywoodien. À la limite, on se croirait presque chez Lynch ou chez Kubrick, des fois. Puis il y a une grosse vibe Matrix. Hein. Il y a... On sent que Matrix s'est passé par là, parce qu'à l'époque où Metal Gear Solid est sorti, bah Matrix n'était pas encore sorti. Et là, on sent qu'on est quelques années après Matrix. Il y a une grosse influence. Que ça soit dans la réa ou même sur le discours.
Non, puis une suite comme ça qui prend autant contre, à contre-pied euh, le jeu culte, euh, le, le monument MGS1, c'est très intéressant. C'est rare de faire des suites qui... Enfin, c'est toujours casse-gueule de faire un copier-coller euh, de l'opus qui a marqué tout le monde quand tu fais une suite. Je, le seul exemple que, que j'ai en tête, c'est Terminator 2 qui fait presque tout mieux que le premier pour moi. Pour moi, T2, il enterre le premier. Dans, le, dans la même vibe, euh, avec le même premier degré, bon, même s'il y a plus d'humour euh, dans le 2. Et sinon, je trouve que quand tu fais une suite, c'est intéressant de prendre les gens à contre-pied. Ce qu'a fait Kojima avec MGS2, ce qu'ont fait les Vakovski avec Matrix Reloaded et Révolution. Quand tu fais une suite plan-plan euh, qui copie la structure et que t'ajoutes rien en plus, c'est pas très intéressant. Non, j'ai pas été déçu la première fois à cause de Raiden, pas du tout, non. Mais en fait, le truc, c'est que c'était tellement énorme, avec le gameplay, l'interaction, et puis j'aimais bien le perso de Raiden. Je vous dis, moi, à la fin, quand j'avais le sable, j'étais comme un dingue. <rire> j'avais 16 ans, les mecs. Non, non, j'ai eu aucun problème avec Raiden. Puis il y avait une ambiance de dingue, enfin tout, c'est la totale, tout ce que vous avez vu. Mais là, en fait, le jeu me parle plus que jamais, plus qu'à l'époque. Puis là, vraiment, quand je regarde ce qu'on s'est tapé euh, ces dix dernières années en jeu vidéo, alors il y a eu des très bons trucs, hein, mais ça enterre tout ce qui s'est fait ces dernières années, sans problème. Non, j'avais pas fait de playthrough d'MGS2, les mecs, j'avais pas refait le jeu en entier depuis 2013. J'avais relancé deux, trois fois sur le tanker et c'est tout. MGS1, pareil, je l'avais pas refait en entier depuis 2013. Bah, c'est simple, tous les MGS, j'ai pas retouché depuis 2013 à part Phantom Pain. L'arc narratif avec le bras de liquide. Ah non, moi c'est... Bon après c'est peut-être aussi le côté nostalgique. Moi je trouvais ça méga cool, liquide qui prend possession de slot. Mais ça, malheureusement, vous verrez dans la suite ce qu'ils en ont fait. MGS4, c'est son jeu le plus perché. Ah je dirais que c'est le 2 le, le plus perché. Euh, non, le, le 4 est vachement plus terre à terre, mais il veut trop expliquer. Enfin vous verrez, on en reparlera quand on le fera. C'est un jeu très... Euh... Trop généreux, limite, le 4. Es-tu d'accord pour dire qu'MGS2 surpasse la majeure partie des films sortis à ce jour Ah mais oui, mais sans problème, Max Mazurs. Sans problème. Non, mais la réa, elle est vraiment top. Hein. Et même, en fait, si je compare à des films qui sont sortis ces dernières années, t'as même pas ce niveau-là. Et ça qui est fou. Là, on a la totale. Et les voice actors sont excellents aussi. Hein. En VO, là, vous avez vu la différence avec la VF Oui, MGS3, on fera ça le week-end prochain, les gars. Ah bah Solid Snake c'est censé être le même, oui. Entre le 1 et le 2. Bah ouais, dans League of Busted, moi aussi, pour moi, Rose c'est censé être une IA euh, depuis le début. Je trouve ça con en fait, cette histoire comme quoi c'est juste à la fin, enfin ça a moins de sens. C'est moins intéressant. C'est comme la fin canonique de Phantom Pain, je la trouve débile. Hein. Par rapport à plein d'éléments qui étaient donnés dans le jeu, je la trouve vraiment débile. Et, non, Alan Smithy, tout le monde... Alors, vous, certainement, qui êtes encore réveillé, mais il y a beaucoup de monde qui m'a dit qu'ils n'avaient pas fait le 1, le 2, même le 3. Il y en a qui connaissent pas du tout la saga hein, et qui écoutent. <coughs> J'ai une PS3 les gars, j'espère qu'elle marche encore, parce que je ne l'ai pas lancée depuis des années. Donc j'espère que je pourrai vous streamer MGS4 dessus. Au pire sinon j'en choperai une. J'ai encore mon boîtier d'acquisition, j'essaierai de vous streamer ça. Là on est parti pour faire un marathon tout l'été. Euh... Alors tu as Grand Zero sur Xbox, tu l'as jamais lancé, il est comment celui-ci C'est un jeu à faire Ah oui c'est un jeu à faire absolument Neodium. Par contre si tu fait aucun Metal Gear Solid... Attends qu'on finisse au moins euh, le 3 avant de te lancer dans Grand Zeroes. Parce que c'est sur l'histoire de Big Boss. En fait, si tu veux, Grand Zero, ça se passe au milieu de la saga. Le 3, c'est le premier. Ensuite, il y a Portable Ops, Peace Walker, Grand Zeroes, Phantom Pain, Metal Gear, Metal Gear 2, Metal Gear Solid, Metal Gear Solid 2, Metal Gear Solid 3, euh, 4. Voilà. Et après... Euh, non, euh, Metal Gear Rising ne compte pas en termes de scénario. 
Oui, c'est ça, Intelligence Pixel. Euh, MGS2 décrit Twitter euh, 20 ans avant. Mais c'est pas que Twitter, c'est globalement tous les réseaux sociaux, euh, c'est même Internet en général. Là, à l'époque, je pense qu'ils se basaient sur les forums. Euh, avec des conneries, parce qu'il y a toujours eu des conneries qui ont été racontées sur Internet. Et maintenant, ça s'est transformé avec les réseaux. Euh, c'est de plus en plus rapide, ça va de plus en plus vite. Mais c'était visionnaire de, de dire ça comme ça. C'est surtout ce qui est marquant, c'est une phrase, c'est quand ils disent euh, « chacun est dans sa bulle, euh, chacun se conforte euh, » dans ses croyances alors qu'il n'y a aucune vérité c'est très fort ça parce que oui effectivement ça ça décrit totalement ce qu'on voit sur Twitter avec le phénomène de bulle notamment avec ce qu'on a vu en politique euh, là pendant les élections t'as vraiment des bulles t'as des gens qui s'adressent à un public euh, coco euh, genre Mélenchon etc t'as un public extrême droite t'as as tout type de public qui reste dans leur bulle et tout le monde finit par s'insulter et après bloquer et, il bloque, et tout le monde bloque tellement tout le monde qu'à la fin chacun reste dans une bulle et ça, c'est décrit dans MGS2 20 ans avant. C'est génial. Hein. En somme, K, MGS3 reste ton préféré, même si le 2 est meilleur. Je sais que c'est le préféré de beaucoup de gens, le 3. Ben, on va le refaire. Et vu que je, je l'ai parfait depuis un certain temps, on va, on va se faire plaisir. Et ben, MGS4, je vais le streamer via la PS3 en, en branchant la PS3 à mon Elgato. Euh, et je vais brancher ça au PC pour vous transmettre le flux. Oui, le 4 est sur... Ah ouais, au pire, le 4 est sur PS Now. T'as raison, de somme euh, Mais alors, j'ai pas pris l'abonnement avec le PS Now. À la limite... Je pourrais capturer directement à partir de la PS5. Plutôt que de me faire cher brancher la PS3. On verra les gars. On verra. Je vais réfléchir. Mais c'est vrai que je pourrais le streamer depuis euh, la PS5. Avec le Elgato. C'est juste chiant que je puisse pas le streamer en direct. Hein. C'est chiant qu'on puisse pas... Enfin je comprends après l'architecture de la PS3 est très compliquée. Ah mais la Riyad MGS4 est très très bien aussi. Hein. Mais je trouve que celle du 2, elle est parfaite. Il n'y a vraiment rien à jeter. Il y, a, il y a des scènes qui ont mal vieilli, tu vois, genre... Euh, la mort de I.I. avec Otakon et tout. Ça, franchement, ça, ça a très mal vieilli. Surtout, en fait, quand il lui balance qu'il couchait avec sa, avec sa mère. C'est débile. C est, c est... <rire> ça, ça, ça sort, sa demi-sœur vient de mourir et il lui balance ça alors qu'elle est morte devant son cadavre. <rire> C'est d'un mauvais goût. C'est vraiment peut-être la plus grosse faute de goût du jeu. C'est très étrange ce moment-là. Je ne même pas autant percuter à l'époque, mais en voyant ça, je me suis dit, mais qu'est-ce que ça fout là T'avais 15 ans, euh, Kepwick. Même si tu pensais que c'était un grand jeu, on passe à côté de trop de choses, car à l'époque, début d'Internet, on n'avait pas la bonne vision. Ah, mais je suis totalement d'accord avec toi. Hein. On redécouvre le jeu vraiment à pleine puissance maintenant. Mais heureusement que j'ai découvert à l'époque quand même, parce que euh, je sais pas si je me serais rendu compte de la baffe que c'était, que ça représentait, si je l'avais fait euh, ne serait-ce que 10 ans après. Parce qu'il faut voir tout ce que ça amenait en termes de gameplay, de réa, etc. Quoi, C'est novateur. Le mec qui, qui, fin, tu vois, le mec qui découvre MGS2 euh, ces dernières années... Il va certainement voir que c'est un très bon jeu, hein, mais il va pas se rendre compte tout ce que ça a pu amener à l'époque, à quel point c'était révolutionnaire. C'est très important pour moi l'innovation dans le jeu vidéo. C'est ce que je reproche à beaucoup de jeux, c'est qu'il y a des jeux ils sont, ils sont bien, ou très bien, ou même des jeux que je considère médiocres, mais la plupart du temps je me dis ils apportent rien aux médias. On n'avance pas, alors que... Tu vois, autant le cinéma, bon... Euh, c'est un film, c'est des plans qui succèdent, qui racontent une histoire, etc. Mais le médium jeu vidéo, il y a tellement à faire. C'est un média qui est en pleine évolution, euh, qui, qui, pour moi qui va pas s'arrêter d'évoluer, qui est pas censé s'arrêter. Là, là on patauge depuis trop d'années. Vu la méga censure, difficile d'imaginer que les studios laisseraient passer un discours considéré comme conspi. Je sais pas, je sais pas, tant, tant que ça reste un peu abstrait. Puis c'est une fiction après tout. Dans un univers qui peut paraître complètement débile. Euh... Vous savez, il n'y a pas beaucoup de gens de 50-60 balais qui vont lancer Metal Gear Solid. Hein. <rire> c'est l'habillage, les persos et tout, c'est... Il y a beaucoup de gens, pour eux, c'est pas possible. Il y a même des gamers, en fait, l'univers, 
ça leur parle pas du tout. Et moi, j'ai le même problème avec Mass Effect. Ça fait des années, on me dit Mass Effect, Mass Effect. Il faudra vraiment que je fasse l'effort. On m'a dit que c'était incroyable. Mais vous voyez, je suis réfractaire complètement à l'univers et surtout le gameplay parce que j'avais joué un peu à Mass Effect 2. Et le design des persos et surtout le gameplay de merde, je me suis dit, mais jamais je pourrais me taper la trilogie. Mais je, je passe certainement à côté d'une un, grande saga. Il faut vraiment que je fasse Mass Effect. Euh, Flavien, à mon avis, il dort là. Mais vous inquiétez pas, on fera une émission spéciale avec l'équipe sur MGS2. Bah, je suis content que ça vous fasse plaisir. Bon, les gars, les... Il, il commence à être très très tard. Là, je suis complètement crevé. Euh, voilà, j'espère que j'ai assez bien débriefé avec vous. Bon, finalement, il n'y a pas tellement de questions. J'espère que vous avez essentiellement compris ce qui s'est passé. La semaine prochaine, donc je pense, euh... je pense à partir de vendredi prochain, on continuera avec euh, MGS3. Qu'on finira le temps du week-end, hein, je pense. Qu Entre le vendredi et le dimanche, on, on l'aura plié. Et je réfléchirai à la solution pour streamer NGS4 la semaine d'après. Et en attendant, on va voir. Il y aura certainement des surprises dans la semaine. Voilà. Et écoutez, messieurs, dames, je vous souhaite une très très bonne nuit. Et une très bonne semaine. En tout cas, un très bon lundi. Euh, merci de m'avoir suivi. Merci beaucoup. Reposez-vous bien. À très vite. Ciao.